Hey guys, Fear back again with another stream, another Twitch VOD, I should say. This is from the 18th of April, 2022, Mount Farm Monday. Look, not any for spoilers, but it was a good stream. It's a good stream. If you want to catch us live next time, you can do so at twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma. If you add slash schedule onto the end of that, you will get my schedule, <laughs> my streams uh, for the rest of the month. Uh, I update them each month and it converts it automatically to your time zone, which is super duper convenient. And uh, if you'd like to help support me, uh, like, like big time, uh, if you're feeling generous, drop me a follow on Instagram or Twitter or TikTok or Facebook, but predominantly Instagram at the moment. I'm trying to hit that 1000 followers. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, bleh, I can't speak tonight. Uh, we'll get there soon. Uh, but apart from that, I hope you enjoyed the VOD. And we'll see you next time live in chat. Hello. Hi. How is everybody this lovely Monday? Uh, stream readers has dropped a link in chat. Follow that link. Log in with your Twitch account. Drag and drop your units to the battlefield. And let's get going. Let's win some battles. This one's a token chest as well. Starting off with a token chest is going to be difficult. But it'll pay off. So how is everybody? Um, I need to... Where am I going? This one. I am heading towards uh, Boralus to start. Oh, no. I'm Alliance. Right, of course. <laughs> uh, look, I'm just so used to that being where I go. We've all done it, don't lie. We've all done it. Here we go. Uh, welcome on in K with first, Shiba with an attempted first, followed by a second and a panic. Uh, time booking boss fight K. Oh gosh, well good luck with the with the dungeons. Misspelled first like five times in my panic. Oh no. Well that'll certainly, that'll do it. Hello Crumb. Hello Resto. Welcome in. Just did I go to a lion's out of my horde? Yep, there you go. There you go, Thor. Do it all the time when I'm like, yeah. I knew you guys would. Look, you're where we are of the same cloth. We we know what we're doing. It's wrong. We know it's wrong, but we do it anyway, and it's fine. <laughs> so what is happening? Hope you've all had a lovely Monday. What the hell is going on with this? Um, there we go. Um Trust our... All right, we're gonna hit this one up first. Do we have? No. Unfortunately, not today. Is not a. It's not one of the days. That's okay. What do I reckon we're gonna get? There's a hundred bonus rep there. House Stormsong may be trying to spread their influence within Boralus. Reveal them for what they truly Five, are. six, seven, eight, nine. We get a little bit from the champions one, don't we? Where's that one that's expiring soon? Oh, it's 43 minutes, not 43 minutes is fine. Um, it'll be interesting to see how. Last boss all done now. Fantastic. Well done. Hello, Scarlet. Wake up at 1 a.m. Loving a bad sleep schedule. Yeah, look. I feel that. I I don't I don't love it. I have to say I disagree with that bit. I bloody hate it, but I feel it. Yeah, absolutely. Which mount are we going for first? So first of all, we are doing some Order of Embers rep grinding. Um I want to get I need to get to Exalted. Once I get to Exalted, there are two mounts I can purchase. Uh, but we're a little bit off. I think this is, yeah, so we're at 84%. I'm not sure what, how much percent we get each week. I haven't really been paying attention to that, but, um, I'm, I don't think we're going to get 16% of a rep bar. Uh, but we're getting really close. We're getting super close. If it was a, if it was a week, a day where we had the, um, emissary, we might've had it, but unfortunately no such luck. Ah, uh, sweet, just finished up my cyber console. Ah, fantastic! Well done! Congratulations. I've, uh, not spent 
much time at all in Xerath Mortis, so I don't... I'm not close. <laughs> I don't have enough of the, um, the ciphers yet. But that's okay, I'll get there. I'll get there. Um... Let's sleep at 9 p.m. Wow. Well done. God, it's been a long time since I've managed to do that. Good job. Well done. Um, okay, so off to the next one, which is a... Um, yeah, that didn't even get us a full percent, that one. And we only have, like, this many. So, yeah, we're not going to get there. But that's okay. Maybe next week, though. If we're this close today, we might actually have it done next week. Oof, that'll be good. That'll be good. Let's that. Oh, this is the one I don't have the thing for. Oops. Uh, depends on if I'm bored or not, let me out. Yeah, fair. Yeah, fair. Um, when we had the flooding here in Brisbane and we had no power, for, like we had no power at all for a few days and then we had like limited power because we had like a generator but for the entire apartment building um so like limited power for like the other half of the week um because we had no artificial lighting i got out one of my ring lights and i like a usb ring light plugged it into one of my like my you know power brick type deal and um had it powered that way but it, it was making my eyes hurt i couldn't like I couldn't read stuff properly and it was just it was because it wasn't enough light or it wasn't I don't know something was wrong um so we decided to turn it off and just go lie in bed and I passed out like super quickly super quickly it was like 6 30 7 o'clock there was no light so my body went to sleep and I was like oh my god <laughs> but then the next morning I woke up at like 5 in the morning 4 or 5 a.m because like light and I mean, I always wake up a few times during the night and stuff as well, which, you know, it is what it is. You kind of get used to it after a little while, as, uh, as unfortunate as it is. Um, but yeah, it was definitely an interesting experience seeing just how quickly my body acclimatized to, like, the circadian rhythm. Like, waking up with the sun and going to bed with the sun. Yep. Yep, could get a quarter Ember's, uh, I'll order of Ember's contract. I could, but... Nah. Nah. I've gotten this far with that one. I kind of feel like I want to finish it off with that one too. Afternoon Seeker, hello! Another chocolate filled day. No chocolate for fear, actually. No chocolate for fear. Uh, but that's okay. I went for a run instead. Hope you have Seeker. I hope you've had a fantastic weekend. Second guessing myself because of the mount name, but Silver Riding Nether Ray. No. I know why you thought it might, but no. That was not that was not a, a bad guess, but it was just it was the wrong one. But yeah, um, so actually let me Nope, that's the wrong button. This is the button that I wanted. Um, so that those lights, by the way, they're green. Those lights are green. Hilarious, isn't it? Yep. So uh I've got green on my lids and purple in my crease and that's literally it two eyeshadows that's it green and purple the green is metallic so it's kind of the shine of it sort of making it look a little less green than it is but it's absolutely like it's a, that's why i had i was like look i'll put the lights green so it makes it like you know but now the lights look blue so that's fine cameras are fun cameras are so fun that's fine um, I own it, and I've forgotten whether or not it flies. Give me a moment. No, it's a ground mount. It's a ground mount. Um... Hydrate! Fantastic. I can do that. Good afternoon, dupe. Happy Monday to you too. Mm -hmm. I'm doing pretty well. Thank you, Nano. How about yourself? How about yourself? Francois, the million gold chicken. Um, what is Francois? Like, it's just Francois, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, 
his name is just Francois, but that's okay. Um, done. And done. Chocolate, fantastic. I like how I combine Court of Harvesters and Order of Embers. Brilliant. There are a lot of court reputations, like names that are like court of something or something something court. Um, many, many. Uh, I guess time walking with the chest of a weapon that's 20 hours better. Yay, K, fantastic. Congratulations. They look bluish? Yeah, they, they absolutely look blue. Um, the cameras can't really pick up yellows properly. Um, when I make them yellow, they look orange. And when I make them green, they look blue. It can't quite figure out these, like, the yellow wavelength. <laughs> Um, your way and I don't mind. Yeah, look, I'm, uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do some things. I'm trying to do some things. And, uh, exercise is one of the things that I need to do to make the things that I want to happen, happen. Um, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, looks Arden wieldy. Hmm. Oh look, we have contributions to the community challenge. What do we think? Thinking we want to see this? Amethyst Ruin Strider. Good guess, but no. Oh, excuse me. Oh, my day's going quite well, Chaos. Thank you very much for the compliment. I hope you can say the same. You're going well. Moon's champion I was talking about how much my is bad. Irish accent painter. Isn't it meant to be Scottish, not Irish? I always thought it's like the dwarves is supposed to be like a Scottish thing. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, hello, show. How goes the gaming farming for anything in particular? Well, we've just kicked off. Um, we've only been live for under 20 minutes at the moment, so we're definitely, we're going well, going well so far. And I am farming for something in particular. Um, I'm actually grinding reputation. Uh, I need to get to Exalted Rep with Quarter Members uh, in order to purchase two mounts that they offer at Exalted. And today is Mount Farm Monday, so it's a not not quite a traditional farm, but I've almost, I've, I've almost, I think I'm pretty much out of like traditional farmed through a raid mounts and stuff so i'm just trying to get as many mounts as i possibly can and uh some of those involve rep grinds some of them involve questing so like it's all a bit all a bit all over the place these days hello um but yeah we're we're aiming for exalted with order of embers i hope you're having a fantastic day welcome on in for the health of stay a while and listen <laughs> indeed you thought they were Scottish. Yeah, so did I. Um, just need a small break from studying. So this morning, fantastic! Swift Forest Strider. No. Wait, Viridian Sharp Talon. Yes. <laughs> that took you more guesses than I thought it would. I thought you'd be screaming it at me the moment I turned the camera on, Shiba. But uh, there you go. It is the Viridian Sharp Talon. Right hand's quite swollen. I'm gonna see Doctor tomorrow for it. Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that. Hopefully they figure out what's going on and there's, you know, a nice quick, relatively pain-free solution. Definitely Scottish. Okay, I'm feeling a lot better about my opinions now. Whew. I'm so mad at myself. Don't be! Don't be mad at yourself. You had the aha moment. Celebrate that. What's your number? Play Shadowlands yet, came back to out a day! Ah! Made of all parents, all gin, remember? I'm terrible at leveling. See, I would say I'm terrible at leveling, but what I'm actually terrible at is stopping myself from leveling. Um, that's 50 characters, and the lowest level of any of them is 50. Um, I've got five 60s and a handful in between, but yeah. I did my, my Fears 50-50s challenge, and I was successful. I have 50 level 50 plus characters. I quite enjoy leveling. But best of luck, I hope you're enjoying your return. Things have changed. I'm not sure how long it's been since you've played, but things have changed. Um, but uh, we have a pretty awesome community here full of people who are more than happy to kind of give you a, a gentle guide if, if needed at all. So, welcome. 
Welcome back to Azeroth. Sheep are done again, indeed. Let's be bold and go with 100. Wow. Wow. Right, let's have a squeeze. You need something? See you around. Ta da Ta We have Fell Seal, Arbiter's Mask. Don't know what that is, but um, it's yours now. Enjoy. Enjoy. Remove that from my spreadsheets. Brilliant. All right, uh, go. Jeez, they never crunched again. Moon God tunes were 50. Yeah, um, well, this is the first time they've done a level squish at the start of Shadowlands. It was the, in the pre patch. They've all they've done like um, eye level, like gear number squishes and stuff, but they've never squished levels uh, until now. So, yeah, anything that was at 120 is now 50. And everything along the way had like they, they released like a table of if your character was this level, this level is this is what level it will go going to be and all that kind of stuff. But obviously, I was. Um, like a year and a half ago now. Uh, so yeah, anything you did have at 120, it'd be 50. Um, you can get cracking into Shadowlands. I've stopped since the beginning of your fate. There you go. Oh, okay, I was wrong. So to shoot 32. Can we still solo old content when level 50, 60? Yeah. Um, there are, there are, like... The, each expansion still has kind of a level range that you would, like, each, like, the raids sit at the appropriate level ranges within the spread of levels. So if you're at level 50, you're not going to be able to solo BFA because you are literally at the level that BFA is. BFA capped out at 50, so you can't solo BFA shit at BFA level. Makes sense, right? Um, Legion stuff at 50 will still be a little bit squishy, like, it'll be a little bit touch and go because that's still just only one expansion prior. But prior to that, which I think was what Ward, um, anything from like Ward and earlier will probably be fine. At level 60, you can't solo Shadowland stuff, obviously. Um, some classes and some players can solo some BFA stuff, um, but I'm talking like the, you know, the, the, the outliers, the people who pride themselves on being able to solo literally anything and they work really hard and they find all these little you know, buffs that overlap and stuff to make it possible to solo stuff that probably shouldn't be able to be soloed. Um, for, for BFA stuff, most of that you'll still need a, a group for. Uh, and then Legion at 60, most of it you'll be able to solo. There might be a couple of things, like the the, the uh, last raid that was released, I don't remember what that was, but like the last raid that was released on Mythic difficulty might still be a little touch and go depending on your class. I main a mage. Um, so I'm very squishy. I put out a ton of damage, but as soon as like I'm done with my combust, I'm I'm super squishy. Uh, so I tend to take too many hits and die. <laughs> but if you're on say like a Death Knight or something, or a Demon Hunter, you'll probably be okay with that kind of stuff. But then anything prior to to that, so even like that same done that same raid on heroic difficulty will probably be fine. But yeah, anything you could solo, you still can. Um, as long as yeah, it's. Just kind of going by the usual rule of like two expansions prior. So Shadowlands, BFA, Legion. Legion is where you'll be able to solo your stuff. Um, I'm enjoying non-traditional leveling this week using my 50-ish tunes to improve my outdoor zones percentage. Yas, love that for you, Midu. Oh, that's awesome. That's super awesome. Yeah, I um. My outdoor zone stuff isn't too bad, and then I look at the capital cities and I hate myself. Um, because I'm a jewel crafter. All hundreds of recipes, hundreds, that I'm only able to buy like one a day because you, or, or fewer than one a day because you earn the tokens at the rate of one a day. One day I will have the time to actually do that stuff, but that day is not this day. <laughs> I. I have too much on my plate. Um, but look, maybe one day we'll become like a 100% like collectible stream and everyone will stop watching and I'll just be able to do my my jewel crafting dailies every day. Um, <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, right. Biggest thing is still to get invincible. 
you are absolutely able to do that on any character that is 50 plus 100 percent you'll be totally fine uh found that damn horse seven years every week on eight tunes and still never got it my gosh see what i would recommend is getting 50. 50 attempts a week i mean it'll take you a long ass time <laughs> each week but 50 attempts a week oh boy you'll have it in a month you'll have it within a month even with the worst luck also put out quite a bit of hotfixing make legion raids solo builds well yeah there were a lot of mechanics in legion raids that you needed multiple people to like soak or whatever uh and so they they <sighs> was it really a hotfix it was part of a patch i don't think that's a hotfix like a hotfix is a is a fix that doesn't require a, a realm restart but that all happened with a realm restart didn't it but yeah they they changed uh mechanics in a lot of the legion raids um, so that you don't have to have people to help you with it. You can just do it by yourself, um, which is very nice. <clears throat> uh, side tokens for GC. As a fellow GC, I feel your pain. Yep. I feel like I almost need to start every single stream with a let's go do the GC dailies and just see how long it takes. Because, um, yep. Uh, any recommended add-ons for professions, like preferably one that tells me location of recipes, etc. See, I use all the things, but that's a, that's a whole, um, that's a whole, a hole to dive into if you, if you're wanting. All the things tracks literally all of the things in the game. Anything that is collectible or learnable, we're talking transmog pets, mounts, recipes, like, but lit quests anything at all that can be flagged with the api as completed is tracked in all the things um so i use that for recipes but if you're a completionist like i am you might find yourself getting sucked down other holes um instead of just the recipes that you got it for i'm not sure what other things are out there that can do it though just because that's what i use and it works really well um but yeah if anyone else has stuff that only tracks recipes I know back in the day, like back in Burning Crusade, I used to have Akis recipe list, but I'm pretty sure that's been like no longer developed for like a decade. <laughs> so I don't think that exists anymore. They do have like in-game by default, they have an unlearned tab. That's that's not a that's not an a, a, that's not an add-on. That's just there. And it has everything that you don't know and like where you can get it kind of thing. So maybe that'll be enough for you. Um, hello, Icy, welcome back. Either way, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I, I do know what you mean. But yeah, I'm, uh, no, I guess my brain's a bit particular with using the right words today. I'm not sure. Um, work, ask you all the things and not use handy notes. They do very, two very different things. Um, handy notes tracks things on your map. All the things does not. Um, all the things, there are some things in there that you can, like, alt-right-click or whatever, and it drops a pin on your map, but not everything has the coordinates plugged in. I use both. I use both for two very different purposes. But you will likely clear your map of handy notes markers a hell of a lot quicker than you'll empty a zone out of, out of all the things, for example. Another comment for ATT. Uh, last time I was here, you were farming Big Love Rocket. Did you get it? It's the Heartbreaker mount. Uh, it's called the Heartbreaker. I think Heartbreaker X50, X45. I didn't get it, no. Um, X45 Heartbreaker. There you go. Uh, no, I didn't. 750 attempts, 1600 in total. Um, I got all my attempts done, and that's what I'm happy about. I may not have gotten the mount. But I'm I'm really proud of my of myself for, for sticking with it and doing literally all fifty attempts every day for fifteen days. Um, so yeah, I achieved that. Achieved that. Where? The witches have there it is. A powerful creature in this area. Destroy it. Uh, how could you mouth on Monday as well? The rest of your Monday. Yeah, look, it's been okay today. Um, I did manage to catch up on a few bits and pieces. 
uh, which felt pretty good. I felt fairly overwhelmed this week. I just had so much to do and I didn't feel like I had enough time to do it. Um, but I feel like I'm... I'm not caught up, but I feel like I'm catching up, which is a pretty good feeling. Uh, but that's good. And uh, Mount Farm Monday so far, we've been live for about half an hour. Um, we're not doing too badly. Just farming up my uh, Order of Embers rep. We'll see how we go. Got three mounts last Monday and two mounts the week before. So see if we can, we see if we can land one today. Ah, uh, Rexan, let's real hit fifty quick. <laughs> we do archaeology. Yeah, I feel that. There's no new archaeology stuff in Shadowlands though. Um, but yeah, if you missed out on BFA, there is still archaeology stuff in BFA that you can go knock over. Uh, so we said I've never gone to stream Wednesday. Not sure why. I'm just really enjoying watching you go through the events. I was plotting out May and I'm like, wait, hang on, isn't Children's Week in May? And I realized I've finished Children's Week. Like, it's just a couple of pets and I got them years ago and they haven't introduced anything new for a while. So I'm actually going to be missing an event because I don't need anything from it, which feels kind of strange, but it's good because May is um, looking to be quite full on. Quite full on. At Mount Farm Friday! <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Boogie down! <laughs> it's a ridiculous sound effect. I'm going to Mount Farm Friday at the end of the month. You are. Mount Farm Monday, Mount Farm Wednesday, and Mount Farm Friday. Shah Farm, baby. 50 tunes versus Shah. Great. Very much looking forward to that. Six fifty five mounts at the moment. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. But we want more. We're happy with what we've got, but that doesn't stop us from wanting more. Nice work. Ooh. Not the intended okay. use of such a machine, but it was effective nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Farm every day. I have asked the community that before, and I said, like, you guys seem to love Mount Farm Monday. Do you want this to just be a Mount Farm stream? And um, the answer was no. Um, the reason it's so loved is because it happens, you know, once a week, and it's something to look forward to. And there's also other things to look forward to, like Ludipraiser challenges and all that kind of, you know, just different stuff. So. There you go. Well done. There you go. Our birds will find a safer place to roost, and we now have fewer. Uh, I really just have to decide what class I want to do. Monk, Sweeper, Demonology, Affliction, Jungle, So hard to decide. Roll dice. Stop them before it goes too far. Roll dice slash roll in game. It all works. Steed sourcing Sunday. Now I have to, Jax, just so I can use that as a bloody stream title. <laughs> I love that. So, hello, well I want to mount Wednesday. Yeah, look. Yeah, that, that works. That works. That lack thing last night was fun. When's the next one of those? Sunday. Sunday. Uh, good idea. Flyer Finding Friday. What if they don't fly, though? See, Mount Farm Friday still kind of works because it's got the farm, the F from the farm. <laughs> oh, 
I mean, what if, what if, what if, what if I spent a stream not playing well? We've got a couple of, like, we've got the TikToker tale for two coming up next month. And this week's goal is for a, is for a makeup and a nail art stream because it's something that's been specifically asked for. Like, gotta fit them in too. Oh, I have to actually click the. Oh no. Sha, give me your nudes, Sunday. <laughs> to be clear, the nudes that Sheba is requesting is the noodle, is the Durgan noodle. It's a mount. It's a cloud serpent. Goodness gracious. I will send you. Uh, bumped nice lives, mom's nice on the phone forever. That's okay, Meaty. It's totally okay. There'll always be one next week. It's all good. Not a worry. To tell specific mounts. Well, I mean, that's what I am doing at the moment. Like, right now, I am tunneling. Order Ember's mounts. But the thing is, I can't earn reputation on more than one character. And I used to do that. We used to farm one mount. We'd do, we'd do 50, not 50. We'd do as many attempts as I had characters on one particular mount, and that was Mount Farm Monday. But because all of the mounts that I'm, like, aiming for now, they're all, like, they're stuff that I can only really do on one tune. So I can't throw all my characters at it because it won't do anything. Hey, a soul, welcome back. It doesn't fly, you're not allowed to farm it. Okay, okay. I see this, I see this. Oh, not much. <laughs> Hello, Landa. Welcome back. On my stream, you're farming Sim 19 stream confirmed. <laughs> Get it installed on my pedals out. No. No. Oh, there's one over there. Mm, it's not like the Sunday ID issue, but totally. Oh dear. Oh, this is gonna be close, guys. Oh, so close. Oh. Take them out before they get to you. What would have happened had we allowed them to continue those rituals? Thank you for your help. <laughs> so stuff fair enough. Totally fair. Oh. Mm. Oh. Fantastic, guys. Well done. Seeker, Meaty, Zen. Uh, Landa and big congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Holy cow. That was close. That was close. So close. How are you today? Was oh, thank you, Landa. Um, yeah, it's been a pretty good day. I'm I'm definitely getting there. Uh I was kind of like uncomfortably behind on uh like stuff and things, and so I was getting a little bit nervous. Um, but I managed to do some catch-up today, which felt pretty good. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I think I'm doing okay. Hope you can say the same. Hello, Sin. Good morning. Actually, double digits until my vacation. Fantastic. Brilliant. Um, right, so I'm now at 88%. I got 4% of rep. Clearing the map. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I might keep an eye out and see when the next Order of Embers um, emissary is, just so I can like grab that <laughs> off stream, pushes that a little bit further. Yeah, mentioned farming sim so many times. You'll just do it to stop me from trying to play any more of the tractors. <laughs> I've I've never played any of the farming sims. I I don't think it would work very well with my um, immediately wants to vomit on keyboard while playing first person simulation games. So you know. Uh, I don't think it'd make for a good six hour stream if I'm in the bathroom puking for five hours and half an hour, five and a half hours of it. Okay, uh, we've done Order of Embers. Um, I'm going to switch over if anyone... Actually, I'm 
Night Fae on this character too. Does anyone have a summon for Valfia on Alliance side? How many L's do you have in your name, honey? There we go. Look at it. On Alliance side, Kay. Do you have an Alliance one as well? Good lord. Um, should see at least farming slash chair stream. Uh, it's against Twitch toss to stream an unattended stream. Um, for like unless you're in very specific categories. So, um, unless you want me to never stream ever again, the answer to that question is no. Um, two important things. I mean, Ally, no. Uh, yeah, okay. I will be jumping to the, the hoardie. I'm just going to, I want to see if, um, if there's an alliance group out. Uh, one, don't have FOMO if you're having exciting announcements soon. She's been tantalizingly teasing. What must you do not to miss out? Follow her on social media. Following is a free way to support streamers. It makes a huge difference to them. Follow Fia on Instagram at the below. She'll soon hit 1,000 followers. Big milestone. We get to hear exciting news. Um... I'm not sure I can withhold the information until I hit a thousand. If it takes too long, but we'll see. I'll do my best. Where are we at? 939. 939. Not too bad. We've got a few more. We've got a few more. Uh, oh, we're going to get out of here. I always forget that I can't mount in here because it's big open space. Here we go. That's interesting. It's funny because I'm like, oh, it hasn't moved. Uh, when in actual fact, I had three new followers and three unfollows, but at least one of them looked like it was a like a deleted account. So you know, if you're gonna delete your account, I, there's nothing I can do to help that. Um, right, so that's where we're heading. I'm gonna see if there just happened to be Nightfay around who will summon this. Because having like an extra attempt is not a bad thing. Like the wild gl glimmer for Prowler. If anyone is so generous to. I know you can buy it with Anima and uh, Grateful Offerings, but there are other things I can buy with those that I can't get as a drop. Um, so. There's a dead one, which is unfortunate. I don't have the level three, what's it? Um. So I have to get somebody else to actually summon it so I can kill it, but that's okay. Um, at not least with right level and stuff. Yeah, of course. Of course. Um, two, our community is using Embers free channel points, a little fireplace next to chat to donate to a makeup and nail art stream. You pop in up to 2,000 Embers in as many increments as you like per stream. If we don't hit the goal, you get the points back. Would be lovely if you can help us. Thanks for those who have contributed already. Would be awesome to hit 40% today. Ooh, aiming high, sick guy. Aiming high. Love that. Good time zone to you too, Fade. Good time zone, give Seeker mod powers pure for the ability. Give them access to the announcement feature. <laughs> uh, no need to hold off, always more exciting news to share. Absolutely, absolutely. Getting close to a day away from the WoW announcement, indeed. Indeed, yeah, unfortunately not spent time madam and farming ally. No, 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 totally okay, neither have I. Neither have I. Can I, I wonder. Yeah, no. Nah. That's okay. Look, we'll wait for a little bit longer, and if no one rocks up to activate it, then um, then I'll just uh, switch sides, and we'll go with that. Um, but yeah, because it's been the long weekend, uh, nothing is really, like, nothing is developing, nothing has happened, nothing has changed, nothing has moved. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, everything is as it was. Um. Oh. 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 There we go. Eleven percent. 
percent. I forgot. Oh my god, eleven already! Holy cow! Oh my god! And if we do the makeup and nail stream, by the way, I will absolutely do a demo of the the curler that I use because it's so easy to use. My god! About the thing with the thing. Guess it answers my question. Yeah, no, no developments. No developments. Like literally nothing. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> there are we've got two charity streams that I've that I've organized, one this month, one next month. Um there's a thing that's been going on since November last year that I've been told is still happening, but there is no new developments. Um there's a quote that I've sent and there is, um, there is an invoice that is sitting with a company, but I'm still waiting on the last thing that I need to do in terms of my deliverables. Um, but it, I have to share something and I can't share it until it's been posted. So I'm waiting on them to do their thing so I can do my thing so they can pay my invoice. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's, it's all happening. It's all happening. Um, but you know. It is what it is, you just gotta kinda... God, you need so much patience, good lord. I mean, it took me six years to get to this point. You need additional patience for the rest of it. Um, good afternoon, Desir. She was getting into his action. Yeah, well, she even knows about it because I, I asked some opinions and, and stuff in, uh, in mod chat. Because, uh, I felt like I needed it. Um, not necessarily, like, this is the this is the thing. A lot of the time, a lot of the time, it's not necessarily I don't know what I'm doing. Like I know what I want to do, but I want to kind of run it past people to see if it makes sense and that it's like logical and all that kind of stuff. And so that's that's kind of what I do for a lot of things. And I, I use the uh, there's a boss mods channel in Discord for that, which is very useful. And I'm so appreciative of those guys. Like good lord, they help so much. They just kind of you know, if I feel like, I'm like, you know, I'm doing this invoice and I feel like I'm overcharging and they're just like, no, you're not. In fact, it's possible that you're undercharging. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> so yeah, it's, um, mm -hmm. it's a fun time. It's a fun time. Trying to, you know, judge your own worth. It's, it's hard. Same with the stuff about the place with the person. Correct. No, it's exactly what I'm talking about. Ah, oh dear. Yes, the free-for-all. Have I missed it? No, I have not. Ha-ha! Be prepared. You have the powers to see the things, to have tease action, and it's great. I love it. <laughs> Hang on, just one second. I actually have a question for you, Sheeps. Um... There we go. Um, time equals money. No, I know, but like, just because I think I deserve X amount per hour doesn't necessarily think mean that someone else thinks that I'm worth that much per hour. See, for me, I need to be paid for my time, but for them, they need to get results for their money. So do you know what I mean? Like just because I sink 70 hours into a project that doesn't mean that they're going to get the results out of it that they want because i could sink those 70 hours into the wrong spots or do you know like you just you just don't know it's really kind of um right okay i am on i am on horde side now <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Everything is fine. Everything is perfectly fine. Um Ooh, okay. <laughs> Good 
Good. All right. Uh, where are we? Here we go. Mm. Oh no, I know, right? <laughs> oh, the shenanigans that we get up to when we show and we need more chat. Um, oh, if he has had it with our shit. Oh, absolutely. Apps always and forever. Had it up to here with you. No, I'm kidding. People often undervalue themselves, make sense it would be hard to initially determine a value for your work, and hopefully it gets easier over time as you flex that muscle. Yeah, on top of that, it's, um, like, I am so thankful. Like, when I, so when I had those first couple, my very first sponsored stream was from Blizzard. And there was no negotiation there. There was no asking for rates. There was no nothing. They, it was literally, we would like you to stream for X amount of time, and we will pay you X amount of money. And I, it was either I took it or I left it. Obviously, I took it. Uh, and I've had a couple since then. And so that's helped me kind of understand. And then I've looked at, you know, where I was when that was the offer. And I've grown a bit since. Not not by like a ton a ton, but I've grown a bit since then. So I feel comfortable bumping up the hourly rate a bit from there. Um, and then I'm like, so one of, one of the things that they really like... I say they I'm talking about like people who give advice around this kind of stuff like setting your rates especially with streaming um a lot of people talk about setting yourself a a window of what you would be happy to take so as low as you'd be willing to go and like ideally what you'd love to be paid as, as you're like you know that's kind of and that's that's your window of what you are willing to accept you don't tell anyone that range that is that is a private that is a like a trade secret kind of you know that's what you're happy with right and when you give a quote you go top end and then I mean I don't necessarily always do that but like when you give a quote you go top end which gives you room for like negotiation and all that kind of stuff because then if they go oh we want this and then you go oh well look I can bring it down a little bit but blah blah blah, blah. and then once you kind of get to a point where there's not a whole lot of space between your two what's it's if their offer is within your range you know you're going to be happy to take it. Um, but it really, it really, really depends. Like there, there are going to be some companies that you've just, you've always wanted to work with. So maybe your range is going to bottom out a little lower because you just want the chance to, yes, absolutely, go for it. I'm ready when you are. Um, I will just start mashing the keyboard when it happens. <laughs> Talk with my hands until then. Um, but yeah, so like if there's a company that you've always wanted to work with, Maybe you're willing to go a bit lower so you can get that logo on your pitch deck. If, like, you know, that company on your resume is essentially what I'm saying here. Um, but then maybe there are other companies where, like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm a little... Um, did we use the seed? Because it's he's not taking any damage. He's still got the shield on him. He's got the Misty Veil. <laughs> there we go. All right. Because I'm like, wait, I used Convoke. How the hell are you still at 100%? Um, yeah, and then, you know, there'll be some other companies where, you know, you're a little bit unsure about them. So maybe you bump your rates up. You know, see if they're actually wanting to work with you or if they're just trying to, you know, get you to give them a cheap deal or whatever. Um, but, you know, that's going to really heavily depend on the individual. There was a case just recently where, like, I'm talking almost 100 partners got the same email from the same people asking for rates. And, um, funnily enough, we talk. I'm not sure if they don't realize that or not, but we talk. And so we all ended up giving them about the same rates. Because, like, you know, obviously they were going to shop around and see, you know, who... Who is the best, you know, balance of, um, of, of follower, you know, viewership versus what they're asking for, and then find the best ratio or whatever. Um, but we all basically gave them the same kind of deal. Because um, that's how we do things. But, uh, yeah, it was, um, it's interesting. Said, like, figuring out what you feel that you're worth is, it's, it's not easy. It's not easy. Um... Yeah, I don't know ever won an FFA when Fierce jumped in. Well done! Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, interrupted myself. Oh no! <laughs> okay. 
Ah, good afternoon, Dano. Welcome back. Going really, really well so far. We've somehow managed to end up talking about rates and self-worth and, and stream, streaming as a business again. That seems to happen fairly often. Oh, is this the Rage Shadow Legends era? No, this was like two months ago. Less than. Yeah. Uh, okay, what I'm going to do, I need to fly because we're going to... Uh, Corthia. We're going to Corthia for Malbog. Ooh, do we have... Go, click this. <gasps> Okay, so we do have one. Tribute of the Ambitious for the oozing egg. I might as well grab it while I'm here. Where the hell is it? Is it it must be outside or something? Yeah, it is. Tribute of the Ambitious. Wait. Um. I don't understand. Is that? Bows of the forest. No, that's Arden Wheels. Have I maybe not unlocked? Do you have to unlock having all three of them up at the time, or? Welcome to the wheels. Streamer's choice. Oh, aren't you interesting? And then that one's the Bastion one. Upstairs with the Queenie Lady. Are there actually? No, I think is this. It's out here, I think. Yeah, because this one's not showing up. Yeah, training Maldraxxus. I didn't think there were any of these upstairs. Um, but I could be wrong. I haven't done any of this. Um, I can't abandon it. Are you kidding? It's fine. Okay, uh, we're gonna go to Corthia and do that. Whoop. <laughs> Oops. Uh, good. Let's go to Corthia and, uh, up Malbog for a mount. Um. Remote only chat. We can do that. Oh, has it been done already? I don't think so. Yeah, it doesn't happen automatically, Christian. Fuck. Have some patience, please. Oh, it already is. Okay, I'm, I'm going to assume that she was doing that. Um. What shall I yeah, unfortunately, even though Twitch offers it as, like, a default redemption, it doesn't automatically make it happen, which is really... A pain in the ass. Although, that being said, it's probably because if someone's ho hosting a giveaway and someone like enters and then triggers the emote only and no one else can enter, then that's, you know, a really dick move. So I guess it allows the streamer to kind of control when they want it to happen. Which makes uh, a lot of sense now that I think about that. Uh, no miraculous mount or two yet. Uh, no, not yet. But it's only been, it's been less than an hour, so we'll go, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, so strange that doesn't show up on the thingy. Um, okay, so Serpent. Streamer's choice. That's a lot. That's that's a fair few. Luck, that's gonna be time. All right, let's go Black Serpent. I can't mount it yet because I'm on a flight path, but we'll do that. All right. Um. Done that. And uh, is that two minutes? I'm not sure yet. Um. Queenie Lady, you know, that's it always confused me too. Um, brilliant. Thank you for that. That's for shames. <laughs> oh dear. Alrighty. Hmm. Um, 
Oh, that action logs this two minutes. Totally fair. So if I've got a I've got a timer on my stream deck, so I push that button as I push that button, and then it flashes at me. So I push it, and yep, I've got a button on the other stream deck for emote only mode. So I play Fallout on Heroic from that amount. Oh, there are there are like umpteen million YouTube guides for every class and spec and all that kind of stuff. So, um, I am. 100% certain it will definitely be possible, especially on a fucking paladin, or even a DK, like, <laughs> excuse me, try doing it on a mage when I'm squishy as hell. Uh, alright. Nyah. Malbog, Lego. Following the pathway. This will alert the people up there, probably, and I might have some friends to help. Maybe. We'll see. I probably could run it. Yeah, absolutely. Want another hunter pet that requires us to solo mythic. Getting Fenru is so much fun. Fair. Last try. Hey, Josh. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Up to 20 attempts on this. Wow. Oh, uh oh. Damn it. Here we go. Dinner we soon? Yes. Dinner time, best time. Actually, no, that's a lie. Dinner time, almost best time. Dessert time, best time. <laughs> I like food. I especially like sweet food. Uh, I spend them on fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, no mount from here, but that's. Hey, okay. Oozing Necro Ray Egg. So we're gonna go do our uh, Maldraxxus world quests. I need to do three world quests with my trainee. And hopefully, out of the chest, I'll get an Oozing Necro Ray Egg. I've got two, I've got one of the, of the mounts from them. I still need the other two though. So I'll absolutely be swinging through that world quest on all my tunes. I'm kind of tempted to go back to the Alliance tune and do it on that one too. I think I will, just in case. <clears throat> if, I've got the, if I've got the opportunity to get have the chances, then I might as well, right? Might as well. Um... I remember that play mages. It was weird. It's a very different, very different experience. For the alliance. Some dinner is making roast lamb. Oh yum. Um, you sleep time is best time. Food time second best time. Fair. That is totally fair. I yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. Um. Lunch I prep for work, garlic should have passed lemon cheesecake. Ooh, yum! Oh my god, I would kill for a lemon cheesecake. You 
Oh my lord. I'm gonna add this is oozing. Just uh yep, adding all the things to the list. Right, I've got some Easter eggs. Maybe I'll be able to pop one of them for dessert. Using things was recently to end up with some in hospital instead. Totally fair. Totally fair. Uh, roast lamb two lamb chops as well. Yum. Instead, make a feast of gyoza another day. Agreed. Sounds good. Happy Easter times on all you two, Kaz. You too. Be a mouth on Monday. Came around quick again. I know, right, Thurls? Doesn't it? God, this is one of the things about having like set types of streams on set days is like, you're like, wait, it's been a week since I did this. Oh shit. Oh no. <laughs> like time. Can we just like chill? Uh, and crush pretzels to the base is my trick. Oh, nah, 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 nah. nah digestive biscuits with like butter. That's it. That's it. Uh, all right. So I'm going to take the... Anima World Quest. Oh, like the Flames of Challenge. Yeah, easy. I can do that. Honor to bear the torch of challenge. Use it to light the braziers that call the great houses to the arena. If you are fast enough to do so. The wings are flapping odd again. Look. They're wrong. Zoom zoom! I dodged the slimes this time. It was very embarrassing last time. I wasn't paying I was paying too much attention to chat and I just hit a slime. Like like a noob. Did I hit one again? Are you kidding? Oh, good lord. Okay, that's fine. Oh, again, I don't even see that one. I wonder if maybe they clip with the the hills. I probably just I was probably just not paying enough attention. Let's be honest. sake. That doesn't seem right. Um. Um. Just so many foodies. Totally my thing. I feel like that's one of those whole, um, your vibe attracts your tribe because I am so like all about food. I've attracted other people who also like to talk about food because if honest, honestly, if someone came by and hung out in stream for a bit, given how much we talk about food, if they didn't like talking about food a whole lot, they would have just left. <laughs> like that's, uh, yeah. What? That? I did not... Unless they have enormous hitboxes, I did not hit that. I was watching that time. Maybe it's because I'm in flat form. Well done. 
speed, dexterity, um. cunning are all giving to the juicy was brand. Never found the time since I keep need to find time. If you haven't done looking lately, it's true. Pretty late in the morning now. Everyone's used to being unidentified. Oof. Youch. Uh, is there an easy way to get to Oroboros? Don't have a mage. There's a portal in Orgrimmar once you've been through the little start bit of the quest lines. You need to go through the little start bit of the quest lines in Oroboros to get there. You've got to do the quest to unlock Oroboros. Um, but then once you've done that, there is a portal in Orgrimmar. Um, level over for 10,000 years. Soon. Uh, she eats well. Does that some bread? Does that have any addiction of food? We try not in flight form. Yeah. Ah, uh, spring onion bread. You can't find it during that quest. Uh, a whole block of chocolate nearly gone. Oh no. See. All right. Cool. Ah, uh, I've caught up now. I don't need either of those pieces again. I don't really need charms. I might just go for the um the gold quests. my chest get my egg out of it because everyone knows there's gonna be an egg in it because I'm lucky yep <clears throat> Primus was the victor of countless hard won battles honor him by what am I what a I'm sorry what is going on with this banner for God's sake I'm literally carrying it on my head yep yeah, sure okay that's fine Oh, I hit, hit going to the portal room. Um, yeah, that's your option. Unless you've got your Hearthstone set there, there is no other way to get to our boss. You either get a mage portal, you go to the portal room. Um, because that's what it's for, unfortunately. Like, for, for getting around the, the world of Warcraft. Um, yeah. Um. Ah, should we go for some Nice. Hey, Zark, how you going? It's fashion. Uh-huh. An egg drop. It's Easter. Exactly, right? I should get five eggs for five sixties. Seems normal. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. Hey, Lich. Try to find some new streaming communities to look across this just to see Desir in the chat, FML. Um, so do you guys have some kind of past or are you just insulting one of my community members? What's going on here? Just kidding? Okay, cool. Well, how, I'm not, how am I supposed to know that is basically my, yeah. So, welcome on in. <laughs> Thank you for the clarification. I uh, appreciate it. Yeah, one of the one of the big rules here is like, you know, be nice to each other. So, people like being shitty with other people. Like, it's just I don't tolerate drama bullshit. So, so I'm sitting here like, okay, do I need to hit the ban button? What's going on? <laughs> Thank you for the clarification. Hope you're having a fantastic day, Lich. That's up since your last stream. Got a hate insomnia. Yeah, it blows. I'm sorry to hear that, Zalk. I hope you get some rest soon. Even if it's just rest, you know, just lying down and, and wrapped in a blanket or, or whatever it is that is comfortable to you. Just, you know, some not necessarily, like, that's when I, um, when I'm having a really bad stretch where I have, I have not been, like, not able to get proper sleep, um, I, I say that I just need some rest. Um, cause it's not, it's not all the way asleep, but it is like allowing myself to not do anything and just kind of curl up and watch Netflix or whatever. And that, it helps somewhat. It, it definitely doesn't help me regain that much energy. It's definitely not sleep, but it does something. It helps somewhat. Um, or else we best put a banner. Poor fours would destroy the whole fast. Yeah, I know. It just, it just seems like, I don't know where the right place would be. It just feels like the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord. Um, just a lovely person. Friend of Lenya is fantastic. Or for Desir to see. Yeah, but it is also in my chat, so, you know, like, I'm not gonna not see it, if that makes sense. Uh, but hello! Ah, uh, was it time? Such a sweet community. Well. 
Well, uh, this tone doesn't convey well in text. Correct. In fact, tone doesn't convey at all in text. Um, <laughs> and yeah, as as streamers, we need to kind of make sure that our chat's being moderated and, and all that kind of shenanigans. Oh, bad. Um, uh, emotes help. Emotes absolutely help. Um, I, I use entirely too many emojis when I'm texting people because it makes me feel like I'm conveying the way in which I'm saying the things better. But then I, I don't use them as much as my mother does, don't get me wrong, but I definitely don't use them. I definitely use them more than would be considered average, I think. Did you get some rest before age nine? Absolutely. Absolutely. Turn indicators like slash joke and slash serious are well, uh, nice as well. Yeah. Um, just don't, don't confuse it with slash s, which is, of course, for sargasm. Um... Text is, look, being able to converse with each other via text on a screen is fantastic. But good lord, sometimes it just does not operate the way we hope it would. <laughs> uh, it's a minefield. Which bloody direction am I going? Okay, this way. I haven't done this quest in a while. Oh no. <laughs> Whew. Heart stop for a second there. No, no, all grid, all grid lich, all grid. Look, we all, hey, we learn something new every day, don't we? We learn something new every day. Um, I am kind of on high alert for like trolling and all that kind of stuff, uh, mostly because like I've been on the launch of Blizzard for a while for, for World of Warcraft, and so we get a lot of people who see me there and click it because they're like, oh, easy target. And they'll, and they'll come in and they'll do, you know, say all sorts of lovely things. So, um, especially when it's the first time someone's talking and I don't know who they are. I don't recognize the username from somewhere or that kind of stuff. And I haven't seen an example. Like I haven't, because they've, because they're new, I haven't seen an example of how they generally interact with people. There's no rapport built, all that kind of stuff, except obviously there has been a rapport outside of here. I just didn't see it. So you're all good. There's no need to be like so sorry or anything. I, I promise you, you're, you're perfectly fine. It was absolutely a clarification from my perspective, not a, you're in trouble and I don't like you. It was genuinely just a, um, am I missing something here? <laughs> So no need to stress at all whatsoever. You'll find out soon enough. Get 100% and see in your eyes. I was like, I'm in trouble already. No, you're good. You're good. I do, like, I absolutely take the safety of my community 100% seriously. Like, for shiz. Like, there, there is a reason everyone feels really super comfortable to, to fuck around and, and be themselves here. And it's because we don't take shit. Um, but, no, you're, you're totally fine. You're absolutely fine. You like the place? Oh yay! Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. We, we did get off on a little bit of an awkward foot there from both ends, hey? And, uh, but no, it is good. Communication is key. Talking to people and, and talking about our feelings and, and communicating what we're thinking and, and all that kind of shit. It's how we, it's how we get, how we get to where we need to go. In time, okay. Our house may come to regard us as allies. Until then. Um, so I'm gonna hearth, because my hearth is set to Ardenwield, and I can go turn this in and get my oozing necro ray egg out of the chest. Manifestations. You need to stress, stretch. I do need to stretch. I do need to stretch. Thank you for the prompt. Thank you for the ability to save. Yay! To know at some point we'll have the same protection. Of course, of course. And that's yeah. No, we're um, we're all about being a, a safe place here. All about being a safe place. Aw, Desia! With the gifted sub to Lich. Hi, the Sunwell. Paying forward the gift they got from Trud to Lich. So generous of you. Thank you so much, Desia. Welcome, Lich, to the Fianati. Can't go anywhere now. You're fucked. Good <laughs> You're stuck here now. Egg! No egg. <laughs> All right, um, let's, 
Also, yeah, be prepared for raspberries. Um, I blow raspberries when I don't get what I want. It's better than throwing a tantrum, right? Mm -hmm. Let's pop that one in. This one. Okay. Um, I believe that's everything I can do on Phelan. So we're going to hop out. I am going to go back to Lillian on Alliance side and we're going to get her egg. I want, I want, I want to never have to do those again. It would be nice. Oh yeah, get on it. Yes, agree for your community is my favorite. Aww. Aww, chaos, thank you so much for the kind words. Oh my God, thank you. Freaking boy, I didn't see that goal. If you click the embers button underneath the chat box, little purple campfire, there's a banner that says makeup slash nails stream seven days left, 13% raised. If you click that, you can chuck in your channel points. <laughs> Fuck you are, correct. Uh, then it's the shit I give you. We will never forget the way I entered stream, that's for sure. Um, look, to be honest, I might. Uh, I have what we like to refer to as a colander brain. Like when you put pasta with the water in to drain and all the water comes out, the water is my memories. I actually genuinely have a terrible memory. I am an insomniac and I have, because of that, I have issues um, because memories are like when you sleep, is a big part of when your memories are converted from short term to long term. So uh, I, oh, a flake of nail polish just came off. That's upsetting, but it's fine. Um, so my short term don't get converted to long term particularly well. Uh, so I might, but I also might not. But because there's a chat log, if we scroll up to the top, if any of the mods ever scroll all the way up to the top of your chat log, your personal chat log, then uh, it will. Show us in all of its glory your first message here with us, which is exactly what I know you wanted. Right, so I don't have access. God damn it, I don't have access to um, what's it's yet by the looks of it. Let's try this. Yeah, we've got it. We've even got an emote to explain it. Isn't it wonderful? Is that all? Now I've got them. That was easy. <laughs> Thank God for that. That was all I needed to unlock my uh, my emissaries. My callings, sorry, they're callings this expansion. God, look, I've been playing for a while, okay? I've been playing for a while. Um. The wild hunt welcomes you for queen and growth. I still don't have them here. That's Wild Hunt and that's Ascendant, so I don't need those. Good. <clears throat> um, on the table corner. No, I'm poisoned. We aren't that kind of cult. We're definitely not a cult. Thank you very much. The hunt must go on. Definitely not a cult. I don't think I have access to Corthia on this tune. But I, now I feel like I should go do Melbog as well. Strike two. Ugh, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna do a poll because I can't make decisions for myself. Right, one minute. Vote. Do your thing. Um, reload. That's so strange. Uh, maybe if you've had my channel page open since before this morning, like if you haven't like refreshed it or gone somewhere else and then come back to whatever, maybe it needed to, because I only launched it this morning. So you might have needed to refresh it to update from the, yeah. This few lady is kind of all right, I guess. Thank you, Shiva. I'm gonna do it here so much. Aww. Oh god. Too many insomnia when it takes with the majority of friends lately. It was. Yep. I feel that. I feel that. You need that explains my shittery memory. Yep. Yep. Being an insomniac affects your memory. Merge of the film and try to chat history here. Seeker has sent 999 plus messages. Um. So 
I'm just campaigning. I know, right? My church community is so interconnected. It's actually crazy. We're relatively 100% of you. Okay. 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 Um, yeah, the, like, particularly the ANZ WoW streamer community, because there's not a whole lot of us, um, yeah, it's all kind of, it's a bit fun. It's a bit fun. Okay, um, we're gonna go, I always forget what this one's called. Chains of Domination. That's fine. We are absolutely gonna skip. Wait. Tall gas questline leveling guide to accomplish. Mm -hmm. It was literally just. Insomnia is streaming to watch and I can't sleep. Oh, Kia! Well, I'm glad we can at least provide you a little bit of entertainment. <laughs> oh, shit. Yep, sorry. Um, they, I was doing something very specific when it when it triggered, and I can't remember what it was now. My bad. Um, Emotes from the streamers. <laughs> Our Lurk one is kind of wearing uh, an interesting... ...garment. Oh, I'm gonna cult see the name. My first was now. Oh god, that'd take a lot of scrolling, hey? Like, some things where I have dementia. Nice being so disagree drive did that. Yep. Mm-hmm. I yup. Powerful. Well done. Sheba. Good job. Uh Panda, Seeker, Landa, Ash, Meaty, Dunno, Faden, Zem, and Shield. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ships. We thrashed that. Oh, skin chest. I still need my bounty hunter mage skin, and this is the like the last day that I'm gonna be streaming this particular event for Stream Raiders. So it better bloody drop. I swear to god. Streaming tomorrow's announcement? No, it's at 2 a.m. Fuck off. <laughs> it's 2 a.m. my local time. Absolutely, goddamn lootly not. No. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I will be watching it. I'll be watching it live, but I will be in my pajamas with no makeup on, um, wrapped in my my Duna cover from my bed, um, and possibly cuddling Baby Groot. Uh, I will absolutely not be on goddamn camera. <laughs> um, sorry for that. No, no need to be sorry. Uh, it's, I don't think it's going to be some like two hour event. Uh, it'll probably only be 15, half an hour. And then I can go back to sleep. <laughs> Yay! The announcement. Uh, stuff on YouTube is a treat off my dentist trip. Fantastic. Not the Udi. The Udi is so warm. Like, it is lovely and warm, but like... No. Not without the aircon on, which I'm not using. Uh, baby Groot, yep. He's a large, large baby Groot. He's actually, like, enormous. He's, like, this big. Um... I'm also going to take out some of my Switch as well. Alright, we're going to watch the announcement together. First and I are doing lunch meeting up for the first time. Amazing! Are you an Aries? No? Why would you think I'm an Aries? I'm curious. I, I'm not. I'm not like insulted. I'm. I'm curious as to what made you think that I am an Aries in particular. See, car. We're gonna play a guessing game. Fucking Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. No, I'm not. I'm an air sign. Well, wait. Is wait. Is I always get confused. I know Aquarius is water, but it's one of the air signs, right? No, I want. I always get confused about it. I don't want- I want to skip. Has been asked. More will be required. Or tell him I've been to Torghast before I met the rune carver, but I can't do that. We I have to... Have a duty to fulfill. I 
damn it. I can you only is it only on um I ask him now? Yes, thank you. Wait, I still have to No, okay, here we go. I wanna skip. So I've heard this tale before. Let's go ahead to Gorthia. Thanks. Alright. Done. Come to resume our pursuit of the jailer. Um, you in Oribos. Yeah, <laughs> for us, I know not. My name is Fiamma, which is Italian for flame. I play a fire mage and I'm a redhead, but I am an Aquarius. I'm an Aquarius with main character syndrome. Like, I am the worst of the worst. <laughs> uh, yeah, see the next page. Yeah, uh, Zygor just has it in the wrong place in the guide, which was like, um, oh no. Yeah, uh, I have I've been classified as an ENFJ, um, which um, the the type is called the protagonist, um, and I absolutely have main character syndrome. I know I do. I'm working on it in my personal conversations, working on trying not to make the conversation all about me, um, but the streaming helps. And it, it will, okay, the streaming helps and hinders <laughs> because to be honest, I'm very used to the stream being all about me and what I'm doing and all that kind of stuff, which is great because it gives, it fulfills that need that I have. Um, but it also means that it makes it harder to get around that in the rest of my life. Hey, I'm at least I know at least I know my flaws. At least I know what's wrong with me. All right, here we go. Malbog time. I think there like I think a lot of streamers have that. So at least like a lot of the the bigger personality because there are a lot of streamers who are much quieter and sort of just reserved and all that kind of stuff, and, and that's totally okay, but any, like, the streamers who are kind of the, the loud, rambunctious sort of style of entertainment, not that I'm, like, super switched on all the goddamn time, there's absolutely quiet moments and chill moments and stuff, but it's, yeah, I think you'd be hard-pressed to find a streamer who isn't like this, <laughs> um, who are, like, in those kind of categories. I think I might need to pop myself in them. Oh, alright. Demon Hunter bullshit go. Oh. <laughs> How? Good lord. Sure, whatever. That's fine. Um. Bold all good things. Yeah, like I don't, I don't do this. Like I know, obviously, I know my sign. Um, but I don't super do the astrology thing very much. Um, but I always find it really interesting what they say, because it's like it's it's hilarious when it doesn't fit you at all, and then when it does fit you, it's kind of like I wonder, what, like it's it's kind of it's interesting. I'm not I'm not someone who can't make any decisions for the day without reading their horoscope or anything like that, which I consider as like the extreme. Um, but I like, I'll dabble. It's for funsies. It's not, you know, it's not gonna alter my life in, in any major way. Ah, uh, we're in danger. So you run things. Yeah, look, I, I try. It doesn't always work that way. Um, yeah, main character syndrome, it's that whole like, you know, center of attention. Everything's about them. It's, yeah. 
Yeah. Not always a good thing, but it, it does, it is kind of a selling point on, on the whole, you know, streaming thing. Because I can handle having 71 viewers who are all watching or listening to me and it doesn't really phase me that much. Um, I mean, if we're in the thousands, I'd start to get a bit of like, whoa, but my average is, you know, somewhere around 100, so it's, um, I can, I can handle that. Not afraid of the growth. Mm, I personally, Aquarius, like my mum, she's my best friend. My mum's an Aquarius too. Her birthday's five days after mine. Streaming helps get. Yeah, look. Shit, I missed it. Um, I know she sounds familiar. She's in the chain. Actual name, Fiamma. That's freaking amazing. Yes. <laughs> I also put on note I don't have an, a, a drop of Italian blood anywhere in me. Like, I'm not Italian at all. Um, I, I named a lot of my WoW characters uh, by sticking words that described the specs and stuff or the, the class into Translator and then just kind of flipping through different languages until I found a word I liked. Uh, and that's how I named my first fire mage, Fiamma. Um, Italian for flame. Uh, and... So, because I'd been known as that for nine years of playing World of Warcraft when I started streaming, I, it made it was made perfect sense. It was what that was who I was on the internet. Um, so that's what I went with uh, for my for my Twitch account as well. I was Fiamma twenty nine um, for five and a half years, uh, and then I made partner and dropped the numbers able to drop the numbers because the account was inactive for long enough that they uh, took the account name Fiala and gave it to me, which was very nice of them. Um, hello. Oh, look, there's some things I don't have from this one. I might as well smack it. Um, can you have that name and not have any characters in your <laughs> Did the personality one like six years ago at IF, IF T, which is the mediator. Yeah. Yep, I have I have a, a close friend who is a mediator. She and I get along really, really well. And like, you know, she she really likes that I can drag her out and, and like take her to, to a new place. Um and she kinda, you know, she just sort of, you know in her bubble, not in a bad way, not at all in a bad way. I adore her, she's amazing. Um, but, you know, she has her bubble, she has her regulars and stuff, and I'm like, you need to come try this restaurant! And she'd be like, okay. Um, and, like, I'll drag her along until the time of her life or what. So it's, like, we have very different personalities, but we just get along so well. So well. We have a lot of things in common, too, which helps, of course. Uh, this reminds me of the idea of the... Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, reminds me of the idea for community guessing game thing. I pose the question, what star sign does anyone know... Anyone who knows me from chat think I might be? I don't know anything about star signs and personality types or anything, so I'm unfortunately going to have to excuse myself from this particular guessing game. Um, but feel free. Feel free. Uh, also known to star signs, curious what people think. Of course, of course. Hey, nice. New transmog. Actually new tra Oh, and an upgrade. Oh god. Yeah, okay, that's... Yep, mm -hmm. I'll take it, I'll take it. Um, right, so that's... Add Malbog to the list of things to do. Malbog. Which is done. And now I need to go do my oozing necro ray egg. Get my oozing necro egg. INFJ. INFJT. The last, the last letter will be, uh, like, the, the last of the four is a J or a P. And then I think it's a T or an M? or I think it's an M for M Mary. I might be wrong, I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure I'm in FJT. Um comments <laughs> so I came up with my imagine already gave me canlas. Yeah, went from there, love it. Amazing to Shiba or Shiba if you want to put the extra effort of that eye. Yeah, I I kinda just like sometimes I call you Shiba some with one eye, sometimes it's two. But I just 
I figure they're all- it's like having a bunch of different nicknames for a certain person. Like, they're all you. So, it, you know, and if I ever called you something you were not okay with, I would- I, I would hope that you'd tell me, so. Uh, Furious of all, she's now Fiamma Prime, correct. Shiba Shiba Sheeb Sheeb Pup Dog Mutt. How <laughs> It's acceptable. Oh dear. It's me. Me need a personality as well. Maybe the star signs just seems weird to me. Neither do I, but it's a little bit of fun. Like, I, I don't think that it, you know, necessarily shapes your personality and determines what you're going to be for the rest of your life and all that kind of stuff. Um, but it is interesting. It's, uh, you know, one of the things, like, I've got a deck of tarot cards. They're beautiful. I have them here. Um, deck of tarot cards. And it's um, the website that I use for... Um, descriptions and for like uh like the meanings and the spreads and all that kind of stuff let me there's a th i want to get this right because there's a specific paragraph that they had that i'm like that's exactly how i feel um so i want to pull that up to tell you so i don't get it wrong uh, tarot theory introductions of tarot while traditionally tarot has been used for divination a method to look into the future. Our approach to tarot is a bit different. Our belief is that tarot is best used as a tool to allow the hidden voice of the self to speak. The cards are simply something tangible on which we can project our feelings and thoughts. That's what I feel. That's how I feel about all of this, like including um, uh, horoscopes and as astrology stuff and all that kind of thing. It's very much like it's not some mystical magical thing i mean some people feel that way and i have nothing against that whatsoever they are absolutely free to have faith in what they want to and that's you know fantastic for them um but my my kind of feeling is that when you read a horoscope uh, or draw a tarot card or or anything whatever it is whatever it happens to be and it says something along the line i've used this example before apologies to people who've heard it before and it reads something along the lines of there is a person in your life holding you back. And your brain all of a sudden goes, oh my God, it's that bitch, Karen. Then you have to stop and go, okay, why do I think Karen is holding me back? Is this something that is genuine? Like how, how do I feel this? Or is this just something that's popped into my head? And if I do genuinely think that Karen is holding me back in my life, is it time for me to let that friendship go? It's like, it, it says something to you. Your brain jumps to a feeling automatically, reflexively, and then it's up to you to stop, take a breath, step back from it, and reflect why is that where my brain went? Why do I think that that's what this card is talking about or that's what this horoscope is talking about? And that really kind of helps you look inside yourself and confront things that maybe you've just been ignoring that niggling sort of feeling that you've had. And you actually, that way you, you front up and you confront it and you, you deal with it, hopefully, is the, the preferred outcome. Um, but that's that's how I use tarot. And in return, like, that's that's how, I, if someone gave me my horoscope, that's how I'd use it as well. Um, but it's not some, like, I'm definitely not the kind of person who, like we were saying before, you know, there, there are people, I've met people before, who won't even decide what they want for breakfast until they've read their horoscope for the day because they feel like it has that much control or and if they live by their horoscope then their life will just be so much better day by day and that's look if it if it works for them then that's what works for them um and i'm not gonna uh <laughs> but yeah that's uh that's how i feel about it though and everyone is welcome to have different feelings about it i'm absolutely not going to be you know coming on out here and telling people they're wrong it's it's just my feelings. Ah, uh, I kind of want to call Shiba Papa now. I just want people to perceive me as an actual Shiba who's gained access to the internet. You need the, um, the, 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 whatever, the, whatever, um, Tom uses. You know, the black cat who streams? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you mean you want Shiba? What day is the announcement of the new expansion? Uh, it's tomorrow, Tuesday, for uh, a good chunk of the world, but for Australian folk, uh, it's very, very early in the morning of Wednesday. Uh, it'll be 2 a.m. for me personally. 2 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. I assumed you were. Uh, I assumed you use your nose to type, not your paws. Guess I know better now. 
It's funny, last few times you said that, Susan. What did Karen do? I don't know. It's just, look, it's this, it's the thing. It's the meme, right? Um, is it out for middle-aged mom? No! No. Not at all. She was being a Karen, correct! <laughs> what didn't Karen do is really the question. Is because perception bias it'll work for them and thus perpetuate the belief. Yeah, absolutely. And look, if that's... If that's what they need to get through each day, then I'm not gonna tell them they're wrong. Um, I, I have friends who are deeply religious and, you know, when, when shit goes south, when stuff happens and it goes wrong, and they're coping really quite well with it, and it's like, are you okay? Like, how? Yep. Nope. I have faith. God will, God will do what He needs to do, and that's where we'll end up. And blah 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 blah. And it's that faith, whether or not it's right or wrong, is not like I'm not going to debate that. But their faith is what gets them through some of the toughest times, and and what gets them through day by day. And who am I? Like, I I have my own coping mechanisms. I have things that I do that, that help me with my stress levels and all that kind of stuff. Uh, those things for them, it's it's faith or it's astrology or it's a, a deck of cards or whatever it happens. To, and I, I feel like it's not my place to tell them they're wrong. Um, if it gets to the point where it's detrimentally affecting their relationships or their work or whatever, you know, all those signs of addiction, like the, the defined signs of addiction, if it gets to the point that they are actually addicted, to astrology or to tarot or whatever it happens to be, then that's when it becomes a problem. But if they're just using, like, if they're using it as a coping mechanism and it's not doing damage to any other areas of their life, I don't quite see the issue personally. Um, but yeah, once it once anything crosses over into that realm of addiction, yeah, nah. <laughs> Probs need some help with that. Um, <laughs> Uh, and Kiwis, believe me, if ever so streaming, you 100% have a YouTube Shiba, v Shiba VTuber model. Brilliant. Kiwis, 4am for them. Watching from the other side of the world. Fantastic. Almost 10am over here. I haven't slept yet. Oh, no. We're dead. Well done. Except for that. You know this. <laughs> We're yelling. Um... <laughs> what do people believe hurts no one until they try to force it on others if they stay in the lane for them yes absolutely absolutely um and it is it's definitely about the forcing like i've had some pretty rough times in my life and i've had those religious friends say hey like i know this isn't your thing but would you would you like me to pray for you would you like to pray with me um and when i've said no They've said, okay, I respect that. And and they've, you know, and that's it. Um, and there have been times where I've said yes. Because you know what? Bugger it. If it's going to help, I'll fucking try. <laughs> there are, you know, especially um, when my grandmother passed away. Um, when, when my mum's mum passed, she was so Catholic. Like, we, we joked about her arriving at the pearly gates and St. Peter just going, oh, 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 yeah, no, no, straight straight through here, man. Yep, we've rolled out the red carpet. <laughs> like, you know, like that's, that's how bloody religious and Catholic she was. Sometimes to a fault, absolutely. But, um, and so when she passed away, you bet your ass I prayed. Absolutely. Because, not, not necessarily because I believed that it would help me in any particular way but because it helped me feel connected to her. Because I had prayed with her before. Um, and yeah, so that was, it was a different kind of piece, if that may, you know, different kind of niceness. But yeah, it's it's about like the, the key word there is forced. If it's, you can absolutely offer up solace in your beliefs to somebody else, but you absolutely need to respect how they, and I would also say, I would I, I would also advise that you know them well enough to know if they have any trauma surrounding your particular beliefs. If you don't know them too well, maybe just say, is there anything I can do? But yeah, um, it's... Yeah, big difference between offering help and, um, and forcing. 
not everyone is respectful. Ah, uh, not addicted, thank you so many times. Yelling at Jess, indeed. Ah, uh, always Jess. But, I see it's gone to chaos in here, wonderful. Uh, mass solutions are a thing, no harm in jumping in. Yep, for sure. Uh, and look, I mean, hey, if one day I, I had some kind of vision, if I saw the burning bush and, you know, never say never, you know, like, good lord, maybe there'll be some incredible, literally incredible, as in it, it has no credibility with anyone else because it couldn't possibly be possible, but I experienced it, then who knows, maybe I would become, like, super religious. Uh, but I'm not now, and that's okay. <laughs> Without the Chosen's boundary, we have to forge our weapons where and when we can. I mean, this would have gone along quite well. Duty, more, more. Quite possibly. The battlefield awaits. Yeah. I I have no doubt. Um There are, there are some things in my life that I've done that I'd never told my grandmother because I knew she wouldn't approve and I was afraid of the rejection. Like, I, I didn't know that she'd reject me. Like, I didn't know how deep those beliefs ran. I don't think you can ever know until you confront with those kind of things, right? Um, but I did some things that were very, very not Catholic and, uh, and I, I had no idea whether she would be able to put her own very outspoken beliefs aside for her granddaughter, for her eldest granddaughter. Um, and so I never told her. And so when she passed, um, I didn't, I, I didn't feel bad for holding these things back or anything like that. It wasn't, it wasn't that sort of a thing. Um, but when mum suggested I try talking to her, you know, not instead of praying to like a deity or something, just like talking aloud to, to the universe or whatever, or even not aloud, just silently to myself, um, I was afraid to because my kind of, I don't know that I believe in, in heaven and hell. And so I, I genuinely don't know. I don't have enough information. And so I can't make my mind up. It's, you know, um, but one of the things that I do believe is that the moment she got to wherever she was going, she knew everything. There were no more secrets. It was, that's it. She, she knew all that was and all that currently is. Probably not all that will be because I, I'm not sure I believe in that bit. Um, but, and so I was afraid because I didn't want, even though she wasn't here anymore, I still didn't want that kind of rejection. And, um, mum basically said it doesn't matter anymore like where she is none of it matters all that matters is that you're her granddaughter and that's that's that and yeah it just yeah it's a nice sort of thought that anything that a loved one because you know we absolutely had our disagreements and disagreements 100 percent there are some stories that are not okay for Twitch that, um, that where we had very different, very conflicting opinions on things. And, um, yeah, um, but it was, it's, it's really kind of reassuring to think that no matter how many disagreements or something you may have had with a loved one here, that once you're free of those earthly trappings, it, none of it matters. And so it's just, it, all there is is love. And yeah, that, I hope that's what it's like. I hope that's what it's like. On to the next tune, we're going to the monk. Kyrian, Wild World Cracker. Oh. Mine packed out the big red church and the red hill at her funeral. And I was standing room in the choir loft and outside were packed. Holy cow. That's amazing. There weren't quite that many at my grandmother's, but the whole bloody service was in Latin. <laughs> it was a traditional Catholic mass. The whole thing was in Latin. You know the you know the the um the meme with the Danny DeVito holding the egg? Yeah. Yeah, that happened. IRL. Legitimately. Actually, seriously. Yep. 
full Latin Catholic funeral mass. The only things that were said in English were directions to my cousins, my male cousins, who were the pallbearers. Um, I have my black cloth that I wore over my hair and everything. Like, it was... Yeah. <laughs> yep. I agree with this however commonly I've seen this argument being twisted negatively. It's really starting to get on my nerves. Oh. Which... I really believe that someone... Oh, as in like, oh, it's my belief it's not going to hurt anyone even though I'm campaigning for the law to be changed to match my beliefs. That kind of shit. Good day to you too, Flip. Hello, welcome back. Good luck on the egg. Thank you, Jason. Yeah, no, no, unfortunately not that one, but that's okay. Next one. Um, all right, so I'm going <clears> to... <throat> Good morning, Sink. That's a really cool transmog. Oh, the main? My main? Yeah. It's a Venthyr set. Wow, yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was full on. It was full on. But it was exactly, it was what she wanted. Excuse me. It was exactly what she wanted. And so that's what we did. <laughs> the other music is awesome. Yep. Agreed. Agreed. Hello, Trud. How are you doing today? So that's the ambitious, ascended, and wild hunt. Okay, so we're gonna go grab this one while we're here. State your purpose. And then we're gonna fly to. You have faced much. <clears throat> into Oribos, and then we'll go back out. Uh, we'll into Oribos to Core Theater, do Wild World Cracker and Malbog, and then back out to the Uzi Necro Egg. Uh, the if they stay in their lane, it's okay part. I'm seeing a lot of people pushing stay in their lane too far. Ah, okay. Interesting. We're not talking about driving, are we? No, we're talking about people having beliefs. And as long as they're not hurting anybody, they can believe what they believe. As long as they stay in their lane uh, and don't force it on others. Yeah. Look. Beliefs can be absolutely really 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 sticky tricky subjects um there's a reason why a lot of places a lot of streams say no no discussion of religion um i think as long as we're talking about religion in general and like as a whole and all that kind of stuff we're okay as soon as we get into debating the pros and cons of individual religions is when it starts getting messy and personal and all that kind of stuff um but yeah, no, I am I am completely, I have 100% belief in you, you guys' ability to keep it civil and respectable and all that kind of stuff, so that's why we allow the chats. Say hello before work. Hey, Django! You guys have a wonderful day. I am. Thank you so much for asking. Or hoping. Hoping. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I hope that work, tre work treats you kindly. Basically, this has got to be imagined. There's no heaven, no religion, too. <sighs> Look. I'm suddenly there for a second. Yeah, it's um for me personally, and again, this is just my personal feelings. Um, I'm terrified of death. Terrified because I don't know what's next. I I have no idea. If it was Shadowlands, then I'd be fine. Like if it was something like that, then sure, whatever. But like. I don't know. I I genuinely don't know. There are tons of different belief systems, and that's all well and good but I don't know that any of them are correct. And so it scares me because I'm afraid of the unknown and I'm scared of things that I, I don't know because I can't understand them. I can't kind of, yeah, so I'm afraid of that. Um, Meaty, Landar, Dunno, Panda, and V, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. If there isn't something that comes afterwards and there is legitimately, did I get the skin? I don't think I did. And I, there is legitimately nothing after this. Then that's even worse because what is the point of all this? That, that really, I'm really uncomfortable with that feeling and that thought personally. So, and regardless of whether or not you feel comfortable with it, that's where, that's all well and good. That's fantastic. I'm very happy for you, but that's not how I feel. 
and um, so, you know, again about the whole respecting things and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, I hope that one of them's right. I'm not really sure which one at this point that I hope for, I, like, but, um, yeah, it's just, it's a, it's a scary sort of thought. I'm pretty good with talking broadly, not bashing any particular bit. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. And yeah, if if it did get to that point, there would be timeouts and there would be, okay, we are moving on from this point of discussion. If you are halfway through typing a message, stop, delete it, we're moving on. Um, and then I'd give it 10 seconds and anything after that 10 seconds would be another timeout. Because um, I know that there's a delay on stream. You know, I understand that. I'm not going to smack somebody before you've even had a chance to hear what I have to say. But yeah, it's... Uh, I've never had to do that in six years of not blocking these discussions. I've never had to do that. And that's pretty freaking awesome. Pretty freaking awesome. I messed up the path, but maybe I was close enough that it'll be on cooldown. It's the other option. I'll give it another go. Uh... Oh, I did- <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize those were lyrics. My bad. Uh, the beauty of death, nothing matters once it's happened. That we know of. Is that actually true, though? That's, we don't, we don't know. Nobody knows for certain. Because nobody's come back to tell us about it, except, you know, if you believe the whole, uh, lich, Jesus lich thing. Um. Yeah. Three days terrified me of death. Yeah, I can imagine. It's not a comfortable feeling. Good place. Yes, God. That was fantastic. Loved that show. That was so good. And oh, God, I was bawling like a baby when it finished. Like bawling my eyes out. Oh, my God. It was just so beautifully done. So beautifully done. Like, I 100% agree with it, but too many people are using that idea to push discriminatory, discriminatory views in the UK. Like, migrants are okay as long as they're not here. So religious people are okay as long as they keep the religion out of my view and stop taking over other religious-based holiday. Yeah, okay, that's not alright. Yeah. Like, what does it matter if you see it? Just, like... They're not, you know, they're not dragging you and forcing you to take part in their festivities and stuff. Just, like... Good lord. Yeah, I don't know. That's xenophobic not just xenophobic there's the like yeah anyway uh, I realize the twist in the meaning of not affecting me but it's getting annoying as hell to read any kind of news that's fair yeah so, you know, I'd say those people not staying in their lane by dictating what others should and shouldn't do they're not following the rules they want for others correct they are hypocrites good <laughs> me that they're trying to use the same argument oh yeah absolutely absolutely that's the problem with assholes who are also slightly intelligent at the very least they can twist words. They're good at twisting words. Bob, Bob was right about after death. <laughs> that. Have a breakfast. Enjoy. Enjoy. Send bank holiday in the UK. It was Easter Monday for us, as well. We all had a day off, but it is evening time for us now. So that's uh, enjoy breakfast, and we'll see you next time. Let's try this again. And then we have to sit and wait for Popo.
Oh dear. I know I'm bang on the path this time, so if it doesn't show up this time, it must be, like, waiting for a respawn. I'm not sure how he helps. Oh god, so many. The roller pocket pocket is, like, enormous. Um... There are just so, like, it, nothing super duper crucial, but so many different little things that he helps with. Um, there's got to be a wow head guide, surely. Yeah, there's the meat. Fantastic. I would expect that there'll be a wow head guide if you type pocket pock into the search bar and then just hit enter rather than choosing one of the drop down things. I'm sure that there'll be a guide. <clears throat> it's just Swiss Army Knife of ZM, correct. Yeah, absolutely. What is going on with this? For God's sake. It's like my macros are freezing up. Guides are so needed. Yeah, look, honestly, you learn. As you're going along and doing the quests to unlock different bits and pieces, they explain everything to you about how Pocket Pock works and what you need him for and all that kind of stuff, and even demonstrates a lot of his capabilities through the questing. Um, you just gotta not zip through it. Like, you actually have to, like, at least the first time, read your, read your quests and, and do it properly. I know people hate when I say that, but it genuinely, everything is given to you in-game. How do you do? Everything. My pleasure. Uh, alright. while I was dead. That's interesting. I'm not going to get there in time, am I? Maybe I'll still get loot.
It's feeling good. Yay. Good. Let me restart. Effect activated. Come on, Griffin. Let's move. Mm -hmm. Sounds like yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let's go. I'm glad Pepper was already spawned. That's nice. <clears throat> Don't have to wait around. I mean, they only take like 15 minutes, but 15 minutes is still 15 minutes that I could have been spending getting other outs. Oh my god! Is that the mount? Oh my god, it's the mount! <laughs> How many attempts was that? That was three. Same as the spinach noodle. Same number as the spinach noodle. <laughs> oh Lord. Listening to Demon always have been used out by some streamers on. I need to leave them in one day so we understand what you say with the voice changer. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. We're just so lucky. Look, a little bit. With some things. Lucky with some things, not with others. There are some that I've been rather unlucky with, but that's okay. I'm just... I'm... <laughs> Take it mount by mount. We walk this path together. 656, baby. Ah, oh, brilliant. All right, I can take that off the list. No need to farm that anymore. I've done Malbog on this tune already. Let's go get the Uzi Nehru egg. Thank you so much for all the gratzes, you guys. My luck has already gone for the X back. Fair. 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 All of the hype. This one is all super cool. Yeah. So if any of you didn't know what it looks like, that's what I just got. It's freaking badass. Like that chocolate brown with the purple gems and the glowy blue, like, oh, yeah. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Alrighty. One down. I got three mounts last week, two the, the week before. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta get there. We gotta get there. So gorgeous. It is, it's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it?
The Arbiter sees all, all right. the truth. Let's go and uh all over to Maldraxxus. Yay! That makes me really happy. Where was that mount from? Uh, that is from the Wild World Cracker. It's an event that's it's in Corthia. It has to be started by a member of the Kyrian Covenant. You have to be Kyrian to be able to start it, and you must be Kyrian for the mount to drop. Any other Covenant can kill the rare and get all the other bits and pieces, but they cannot get the mount. You must be Kyrian to get that mount. Um, and yeah, Popo starts all the way up a path. You talk to Popo when he spawns and he walks down helping a few people and a couple of spawns along the way. And then at the end, he summons the Wild World Cracker because it's been hurting all his friends and then we kill it. And then it gives fear a mount, apparently. So there you go. Hang on, didn't I get Conthrogs' mount after three goes as well? I feel like I, th I feel like that was three. I feel like Corthia is the, the zone of threes. This is the best one of the X-Pack. <laughs> oh, I was, honestly, I was a little bit surprised when I went to the, because um, I was trying to find the spawn timer and the uh, comments page on Wowhead is just full of love for Popo. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. What, why is Popo so popular? But hey, I'm not going to question it. It is an honor to bear the torch of challenge. Use it to light the braziers that call the great houses <clears throat> to the arena. If you are fast enough to do so. Zoom, zoom. The skin, yay! Hey. I had an open chest. Seeker got a skin. Yay. Okay, little slow tonight. Can you use it? We are, but that's okay. It might just be because people don't want it. That's and that's okay. If people don't want it, that's I'm not gonna tell them they're wrong. That's absolutely understandable. We have had a couple of failed goals before in the past. Primus was the victor of countless hard-won battles. Honor him by defeating enemies in this revered place. The house of Mitchell's treachery knows no bounds. So excited. Punish Got a mount! 656. Feels really good. Only problem with the egg is that I won't be able to open it. <laughs> Like it has to hatch. Ugh. Patience or something.
It reminds me to get back to Isle of the Giants. Yeah. Yep. I know the feeling. Oh, actually, we're coming up on refresh day for Data for Azeroth. Oh dear. That makes me nervous. Another shake up of what mounts I found. So, the Necrolord mount from Corthia isn't on the list. I don't think I've got it. I'm pretty, like, I don't think my Necrolord my, my, has, hasn't been to Corthia, so I can't have it. But it's not high enough up on the list to be, like, clocked as a... At least I didn't think it was. It has been updated. Oh no, it was updated April 13th. <gasps> Shit, okay. Okay, I need to update the list. Uh, how do you see if I decide what to farm? Um, I go to mounts, I untick collected, and untick collected on all, and then sort by rarity. And whatever's first on the list, I go for that. Well, at the moment first on the list is on a level 40, so I'm not doing that, but <laughs> yeah, that's how. Nice and easy. What was the man today? Uh, Viridian, Sh Viridian Sharp Talon. This has all been shook up. Oh dear. Your legend ends here and now. Legacy of the Prime is a solemn duty, one owed by all who vow to defend. And then this one. Woohoo, well done, dupe. You're very welcome, Sink. Not a worry. Yeah, it's really super, super simple. Um, I'm just really bad at making decisions myself. So, <laughs> so I use systems to help me make those decisions. Is it a row? Well done, Kay. Well done. Fantastic. I'm gonna have to update my my Monday hunt list because uh, yeah, it's it's been shook up something fierce. It's been shook up quite a bit. Oof, that's all right. But yeah, the um the Lord of the Corpse Flies is down at like seven percent, whereas the Wild World Cracker nine percent of people have it. Like it's a big jump between the two, which is uh really interesting. Because I was like, why if I'm going to Corthia on my Necrolord, why am I not trying to get that mount? 
once because it's further down the list, but I think I will anyway because I'm going to be there for Malbog. I might as well. I might as well. 10% of people have Malbog's mount. Um, so, first on the list is on a level 40 with 21%, surprising nobody. Undying Darkhound from the Necrolord Assault in the Moor is second with 11%. Prestigious Azure Corsa is third with 11% on a level 70. Uh, Nightfay Assault Mount, the Wild Hunt Leg Splitter with 11%. Uh, Soaring Razorwing, the Archivus Codex Tier 6. At 10%, Crimson Shardhide from Malbog, 10%. Wild Glimmerfer Prowler from Valfir, 10%. Horrid Dreadwing from Harika, 10%. Smoky Charger, Order of Embers Exalted, 10%. Royal Snapdragon, King Paragon from the Unshackled slash Wave, uh, Wave Blade and Cohen, um, also 10%. Return to I don't want to return to Kalik. Can I just? I reckon I can. Way easy way to do it these days. Although they are quite a bit higher health, these ones. No big for you. Oh, Panda. That's okay. I mean, I've got five to get through. This will be my third. So I have two more after this. The swellies of death are just terrible. Ugh. Oh well. Are you there? Exactly. That's what I was thinking. Ah, oh, dupe. Hey, peeps, have you followed Insta? Uh, Fear on Insta. Have you followed Insta on Fear? Good. Have you followed Fear on Instagram yet? I just want to make another ah! <laughs> No! Oh my god. But if you haven't followed me on Instagram and it is something you are willing to do, I would very much appreciate it. Um, it's a. Uh, oh, shit. It actually helps like so bloody much. You have no idea. It legitimately does help super duper muchly. Um, I'm trying to get to a thousand. One thousand followers is the first big milestone. And uh, last I checked, I was on nine thirty nine. So we're getting there. Hey, a cat. How you going? Thank you, Seeker. There is the socials link there, or my links dot com forward slash Fiyama. Um, or you can scroll down on the video player, and underneath where it's like about Fiyama on the the right hand side there. It's got some socials links. It'll take you straight to Instagram. Um, and then, yeah, it takes you all of about 10 to 15 seconds to, to jump over and follow. Do to do, do to do, do to do. Went up. Ah! Did it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Nine hundred and forty, sixty to go. Amazing. Good gosh. Seeker, Meaty, Zalk, Shap, and V and Zim. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. Well done. All right. So I need to place a healer for that last. It.
What the hell? That's not what I wanted to do. Excuse me. What are you doing? Uh, alright. Sorry. That's me. My fault. Go speak to Clay, get the get the stealthy thing back. Make things a lot easier. interested to see if that particular goal makes it because it's something that's quite different from I mean I've done it before but it's something that's quite different from what we usually do so it will be interesting to see firstly if we make the goal and then secondly how the stream actually performs oh, excuse me get a designed painting for this game to hang it on your wall or an NFT. Absolutely not. NFTs can go fuck it in. Like, no. Absolutely not. NFTs can just fuck all the way off. Um, they're terrible in every conceivable way. Uh, paintings, yes. Um, wall hangings, absolutely. NFTs can get fucked. Assuming you're trying to advertise something, so uh, we're gonna do that. Um, There's cinnamon on the chicken that we're having tonight. <laughs> I am happy about this. Ta-da! Alright. Uh, we're gonna head home and turn in this and get our egg! Cinnamon chicken. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, this is one of my new digital currencies. The energy output, they're a terrible for the environment. NFTs are not digital currencies. They're worse. It was. This sounds what non fungible token or something. They're just they they represent the worst of humanity. Literally the worst, the actual worst. You stand before the ascended. Yes. I never thought of cinnamon with chicken. You're welcome. Archon's eyes upon you. You're welcome. Oh! Oh, I got an ensemble because I just hit renown 60. Amazing! Egg? No egg. Literally just grey items. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Sure, whatever. NFTs are digital products, not currencies, correct. And they're crap! <laughs> we are stronger than your presence. They're horrible in so many ways. So many ways. 
Anyway. Uh, all right, that's everything on the Kyrian. So we hop on to the Necrolord. Um, NFTs are used in conjunction with digital currencies. Not always. Not always. But I mean, technically, dollars and cents are now digital currencies as well. Like, I don't pay with cash ever. It's digitized. Um, but it, it's cryptocurrencies, I think, might be what we're leaning towards here. But yeah, they are often used in conjunction with cryptocurrencies, but they are two separate things that operate separately from each other. It's just that most people who choose to sell NFTs choose to sell them via crypto because reasons. Uh, also, basically, just microtransactions limited databases, blockchain. Yep. That's right. The person I thought was trying to advertise something in spam has left because that's exactly what they were trying to do. Um, right, so what's the flesh wing? Did we do Make It Man today? We did, Viridian Sharp Talon. Microtransactions plus FOMO equals not fun. Yeah. Yeah. More. Time has come to resume our pursuit of the Jailer. I await you in Oribos. Okay. Um. Right. So I'm, uh. I think she's gonna have her manicure in the shred of interest I have in the priest. Time to roll a new tune. Oh no, Seeker! Oh no. Sorry to hear that. Well, Night Fays definitely have their place. There are, you know, every every covenant has consumable, uh, consumables, collectibles that the others can't get. It is definitely worth having a tune in each covenant. But I'm sorry you're not enjoying yourself. That really sucks. A few days and see how I go. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Okay, so this one here is the one that's going to give me the egg. Got some meat on your bones, huh? I was almost offended by that comment. You've got some meat on your bones, huh? When then I realized I am a blood elf, literally, you know, super duper freaking skinny. Um, but also that the who was saying to me was pretty much a corpse. So yeah, literally anyone would have meat on their bones compared to them. Oh dear. by defeating enemies in this revered place. Go, zoom zoom time again. It is an honor to bear the torch of challenge. Use it to light the braziers that call the great houses to the arena. If you are fast enough to do so. Deep look.
done. Speed, dexterity, this one. Cunning are all valuable traits. Ah, oh, dear. This is a chill time. I like it. It's nice. The house of rituals treachery knows no bounds. I'm not looking forward to updating the uh <laughs> the um what's it again? List. Oh no! I'm the wrong spec. That's right, everyone around me is pulling everything, so I'll just uh I'm in combat, bugger. I still I'm still in combat. There we go. There we go. Boogie down. Hello. Hello. Chickens. Chickens is a cinnamon. Yes. yes, I could smell it. Thank you. It smells amazing. It looks good too. Chef tax. Yeah, you're taking vegetables as a chef tax. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jas. Oh god, it looks so good. It smells so tasty. What's more about cinnamon chicken? Well, it's cinnamon on chicken. Like, literally that basic. Mmm. <laughs> Food indeed. It's like when you have your raw chicken, put cinnamon on it, toast a coat, maybe a little bit of oil, help it kind of spread a little easier. You can add it while it's like in the pan. The only issue with adding it while it's in the pan is that a lot of it will end up just burnt to the pan, the pan rather than being on the chicken. And yet you just cook it. Pan fry as usual. There's no fancy silly thing. Like it's literally that easy. Literally that easy. I used to do a slow cooker recipe that was basically just a ton of chicken like a whole kilo of chopped up carrots and like half a jar of cinnamon in the slow cooker for like eight hours and it was amazing. Tasty. Experimentation in my future? For sure. Honestly, I've been doing it for like years now. Um, there's also a like a, a joint near us that does like bubble tea. Well, maybe not really that near us, but you know, within the vicinity, um, that does like um bubble tea and KFC, like Korean fried chicken. And the Korean fried chicken in the coating. Um, they add cinnamon and I think it's nutmeg. I can't quite put my finger on it. And like whole sage leaves as well. And you get the sage leaves in the bag with the chicken as well. So you like pick out the leaves and crunch them and they're like fried in butter. Oh. <clears throat> Boom chicken emotes, yay! I'm going to spread you to your tunes or something you share. Don't know the command to see it. If it's a thing, can someone share the command please? 50 50s! That's it. Nutmeg, nutmeg goes well with chicken. Yeah, and nutmeg goes really, really well with cinnamon what as well. You desire? But it's so good. So good.
I think one of the most difficult things for pa about packs for me is um, like the food inside the convention center is not great. Like, I mean, you get hot chips, they're fantastic. Um, sometimes a little bit soggy, but mostly fantastic. And you get like, you know, your hot dogs and, and all that kind of you know, dodgy chicken burger. There's a little Japanese place where the curry is okay, but the rice is really dry and kind of crunchy around the edges, stuff like all that kind of stuff. But if you leave the convention center to go and get like good food nearby, leaving packs. <laughs> Like, cause there's, there are, there are some phenomenal food outlets very close to the Melbourne Convention Center. Very close. Um, but yeah, it's, it's hard. It's hard. Um, the Crown Food Court is my go-to. Especially after pack. So like after, fr like Friday night and Saturday night, going and grabbing takeout from one of the, one of the, like, I think one night I did P-Day. Um, from the kebab place. That was fantastic. And then on the Saturday, I think we grabbed like butter chicken from the Indian place and they, oh God, those, those boxes are huge. They loaded up and then taking it back to the Airbnb and eating it there. Oh, so good. So good. A lot of the fries opposite end of the city. Complete opposite end of the city. But Lord of the fries is fucking fantastic. It, took me longer than I would care to admit to realize that the chicken nuggets weren't chicken. Which, I mean, goes to, like, yeah. But Lord of the Fries is, like, top tier shit. Um. <clears throat> Maybe on the Monday, uh, we'll have to, like, obviously, okay, so the, what I'm, what I'm thinking so far, um, I am gonna need me time. Like, there's there's one rule, one really big rule that I have for PAX, is that no visitors ever come to my Airbnb. Never. And that she gets bubble tea. And that I get bubble tea. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jess. Stubby! Thank you. But yeah, big number one rule is that no one comes back to the Airbnb. Number two rule is bubble tea. Number two rule is bubble tea. Um, <laughs> because that's my safe place. That is my space away from everyone and anyone. Like, I need, I need, like, recharge time for the social batteries and so that's how i'd get that is that like no one comes back to my airbnb that's it um and then but beyond that right so i'm thinking like saturday because that's like the big day that most people it's usually the only, usually the only sold out day though this year might be different because they have fewer tickets to sell um uh but we can like we'll have an outdoors gathering so like grab your food from wherever you want to have it and we'll sit down on the grass and eat lunch um that way even if people can't afford a pax ticket but they happen to be in melbourne for whatever reason maybe they live there or you know maybe they take the train trip in for the day or whatever they can come and sit with us outside the convention hall where tickets are not required to to have like a community lunch or whatever and usually i end up having some kind of dinnery deal on Monday, but God, it was hard enough booking for 14 people. I don't know how many people would want to come have dinner on Monday. Um, so we might end up having to do some kind of lunchy thing again. Uh, and it might be a really good idea to head to Fed Square. I haven't been there in Yonks. Um, Fed Square has like the, the is it ACMI still? Uh, the Australian Centre for the Moving Image. Quite often they have gaming related exhibitions that are free. Um, so it's like really cool to go in there and like look at the last time we were there was uh, history of gaming and so it had like all the stuff from the like the very the, the very beginning of games right the way through to like today's ridiculosity stuff um, that you could kind of explore and uh, oh, I just upgraded one I already had oh no um, and that's where Lord of the Fries is, which is great because I haven't had that in years. Maybe it's where you don't have to be on. Oh, absolutely. It's my home. It's my quiet, like, I mean, this is my home as well, but it's my quiet place. And yeah, that's, uh, but it's, it's my temporary home. Um, so yeah, absolutely. Whatever that may be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> to find some time. Uh, 
Hopefully things will quieten down sometime soon. Uh, hello George, welcome on in. It's an awful lot of eyes you have there. Fight well. Ah, <sighs> but yeah, it's just been thing after thing after thing, hey. for Alexia. I'm pretty sure. Um, I haven't actually unlocked Gorthia on this tune. Oh no, I have. Brilliant. Never mind. means I should also, uh, if I'm doing Fleshwing, I should also check out the Venthyr mount. On Thea too. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll rack, rack up some more mounts today. Where was I? The um The Venthyr Corthia mount isn't even on the first page. That surprises me. <clears throat> I don't have it, do I? I'm pretty sure I don't have it. There's Reliwick. Second page. There you go. Four percent of players have it. Jesus, that's so low. Less than half the amount of people have the the Venthy amount than the uh, the other one. Gee, bus. It's a Stygian Stone Crusher. Keep expanding this list of mine. <laughs> Oops. Uh, where are we? This one. Malbog. Let's go bonk the Malbog. <clears throat> and I can stealth this walk.
I'm gonna sit here until people come down here to grab more stuff and then I'll summon it. Because I cannot solo it on my rogue. Should we see you? I've submitted, congratulations. Step one down. Hmm. I just kind of get as much, like, as through through as much of the list as I can um, during the stream time. It's kind of how I usually run it. Mount. That's okay. Uh, we're gonna head over to Fleshwing. Requires a member of the Necro Lord Covenant to trigger. done recently maybe it looks like a flaming pile of bodies yep. that's right means I have to wait for 15 minutes very pink bubble tea this is strawberry flavor with pills very happy strawberry milk tea it's delightful fallen super far behind on like rendering and uploading and stuff again. <clears throat> oh bods. I am five days behind. That's not look it could be worse. It has been worse. But that's still not super great.
So I have downloaded a copy of the 5050s. Thank you. So I don't balk it. Is there anything I need to know? Um, first thing you need to know is that no matter how hard you balk it, you can always re-download a new copy and it will reset everything back the way it was. Um, Chap, Zelk, Zlanda, Dupe, V, Silver, Ali, Fade, congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. Excuse me. Um, you don't need to change any of the colouring unless you don't like the colours. If you don't like the colours, then obviously feel free. But apart from that, it's all conditionally formatted so that if you type in Druid, it goes orange kind of thing. At least I'm pretty sure that's how I did it. Um, pop in your tune names. Pop in your leveling, like your levels and stuff like that. Um, I don't think... All the, like, the weekly goals and stuff like that was all hard-coded in. So uh, if you actually want to get there by a certain date, then you will need to figure those calculations out for yourself in terms of how much percentage you need each week to, to get to your goal in time. Um, but beyond that, no, everything else should be formulate, formulated, and you can just plug in your names, your classes, your, your um, faction, all that kind of stuff, and it'll, uh, it'll do the stuff. But yeah, even like if something does go and go a little bit wonky, you're more than welcome to just like to grab a new one. You'll be all good. Sorry guys. This is not timed. It could be worse. Well, 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 well. Mm. <laughs> the warlock, the murlocks. Why did I say warlocks? Good lord, brain not function. shade of pink <laughs> it is isn't it it's also a delicious shade of pink this is fun 15 minutes it's just 15 minutes that's it i've been here for like half that so Mm. 
You know what we're doing. We're gonna burn seven minutes by uncrossing wires to save Blingtron's life. Oh, corpse heap. Amazing. <clears throat> hey, Jackie, welcome back. Did someone say community goal? No? Well, let's talk. Oh, dear. Hilarious. Go, I added one to the pile. Yeah, if you've got a sub, you shouldn't be seeing, unless you've got um, ad blocker on. If you've got ad blocker on, you'll get ads. Oh, oh, right. That makes sense. Makes more sense. Wait, uh, Wednesday morning for Australia and New Zealand. 2 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. It's not just the cinematic, it's the whole announcement. Lucky, go on well. Got a mount! Wild World Cracker dropped its mount for us. Kyrian mount. Very pleased about that. this would be my first yeah first attempt on this one so not certain that this is gonna drop but that's okay take what we can get 
Luckily, I know, right? Three last week, two the week before, one so far today. Might if you're asked for it. Look, maybe. Fleshwing, could you please drop me your small corpse fly egg that will start a quest chain that will end up in Lord of the Corpse Flies being mine, please? I mean, we were talking about Lord of the Fries before. It would be quite ac uh, appropriate for you to give me the Lord of the Corpse Flies now. If you That's not very nice, Shiba. What you did. Look what you did. How many pants? <clears throat> right, we're gonna half on back and then log over to Fia for the first time tonight. Um, Angie Cuts must like you. Look a little bit. They like me a little bit. No, that egg doesn't exist. Got it on any of my necro tune. I will get it eventually because I'm stubborn as hell. Time to make an omelet. I find this extreme trial in Final Fantasy for a rare mount. I've ever done it over 200 runs, only ever seen it pop twice. Both times I've lost a draw for it with party members. Oof. Ouch. Mm. Uh, I have steamed vegetables, carrot, uh, carrot, cauliflower, and broccoli, um, sauteed kale and baby spinach, and cinnamon chicken, which was everyone's like, what? moment. <clears throat> cinnamon chicken is delightful. It is Bola. Just saying. <clears throat> Interesting. Uh, cinnamon is wonderful, honestly. Yep, cinnamon chicken and pork. Yep, correct. Chicken in particular. I think it's my favourite. Convenient. Oh wait, is it actually up here? Site. Coconut soap gene, th do you mean uh, coriander? Coriander soap gene is a thing. There's no gene that makes coconut taste like soap. I also terribly dislike coriander, so there's no coriander in any of this. 
<laughs> I'm really, I'm really confused. I'm very confused. Yeah, coriander or cilantro is the thing that has a genetic predisposition to it tasting like soap. Um, but there's no coriander anywhere on this plate, nor is there any coconut. All right, while I'm here, I'm gonna go do this one and then I'll fly out to do the necro egg. Tastes like soap to me. <laughs> um, I've never heard of it, but that doesn't mean that it's not true. Coconut oil. Why does coconut oil taste like soap? Unrefined coconut oil is rich in lauric acid, which is one of the most common fatty acids used to make soap. So in fact, it's more that soap tastes like coconut oil, not, uh, not vice versa. Um, but it might just be that you had a shitty coconut. You had too much lauric acid in it or something. There you go. Fun facts with fear. <laughs> so, no, no need to apologize. I was just really confused. I'm like, do you mean cilantro or coriander? Because I mean, they spe they both they start with C. But then I was also kind of confused because there's no coriander or coconut on this plate. So I'm like, um, how do, excuse me, how do we get here? Okay, seems like probably not, yeah, nah. Yeah, found the same page, yep. Yeah. Uh, you Googled coconut tastes like soap? Yep. <laughs> That's what I did and it was on the front page. Right at the top of the Google search result. Is that it? Because you're fine. Fine. You learned a new thing. Like, it's genuinely okay. You learn new things every day, and if learning a new thing causes anxiety, that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> spells around because I was doing raid. Damn it. This where they are now. Okay, good. Onward to the meat pile. Oh look, a tearing exterminator. Someone else has done mailbox recently. <clears throat> Best buffet line ever. On which is the meat bar? This one about the seafood no buffet. Oh, buffet seafood makes me so goddamn nervous. One, one buffet I've ever eaten. Like, I mean, sushi was one thing, 
but one buffet restaurant I've ever eaten actual like piles of seafood from. <clears throat> like food safety is already kind of sketch at a buffet, especially if it's a self-service one, but like, oh. Especially not with the whole food poisoning puts you in hospital fear thing. Like, no. <laughs> absolutely not. But that was just me and I am absolutely not going to judge anyone else. It means there's more for you lot. And that can't be a bad thing, right? I still haven't put my, um... Stuff back where it came from. <clears throat> Mount! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, brilliant. Apologies to the headphones users. <laughs> Oh my god. Holy shit. What is going on? Don't question it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Now to take all that off all the list. Holy cow. Okay, Malbog go away. Malbog take off the list. Malbog go away. Go away. No, but go away. Brilliant. This is shorter than when I started now rather than longer. Thank you for the grats. Um, seafood lover, but my body doesn't just seafood before the chicken. Also depends on the place. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I was worried about it for a long time. I have one experience that has ruined buffets. Yeah. Yeah, that ends up being the case for a lot of people. There are, um, uh, buffets at casinos. Buffets at casinos, you can always trust. Uh, because most of the time, there will be a, um, some kind of membership bonus. Like, if you're a member of the casino, if you have, like, a card for loyalty points or whatever, um, the buffet is extremely cheap slash close to free to the extent that a lot of people who live relatively nearby will come in just for the buffet and then go home because they get the benefits from their, their membership cards and stuff. And so the turnover on the food on that buffet is so high that stuff never gets a chance to get cold enough to get anybody sick. Um, or it doesn't warm up enough for anybody to get sick. Um, buffets at casinos are like probably the safest buffets to, to get to. As long as the as the as long as the casino seems to be like relatively open, like as long as there's a decent amount of people there, the buffet will be fine. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> Streamer hacked apparently. <laughs> yep. Thank you for the grats. Must be the earrings. I mean, it it might be. It it might be. DC from the chat. What does Shiba say? Streamer hacks, all in caps. Mm. See if you wouldn't be able to keep that shit tight. Yeah, look. <laughs> I mean, they do. Sick people absolutely do gamble. Um, so the reason I know this is because I've worked for a casino for a number of years. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sick people absolutely gamble. <clears throat> I'm just about the food waste from casinos in Las Vegas. Gets fed to pigs from pig farm just outside the city. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, there are a lot of there are a lot of laws around what food can and cannot be like donated to food banks and and to like 
um, people who are hard done by and stuff, like humans. So a lot of it ends up going to animals or landfill, unfortunately, which really pisses me off. I hate wasting food. Uh, a couple of fees going up all the mountains. This is totally stream of hacks. I say not putting any effort at all into mountain farming. No, <laughs> look, I'm trying. I'm getting there. 657 mountains. That's two, three, two. And we're not done yet. We're only three and a half hours in. I'm waiting for, wait, is that, did I take a damage? I need to wait for Drippy to spawn. I might make it to islands. <laughs> Look, maybe. Maybe. Uh, I was always nervous about casinos. I betrayed as glitzy places where powerful people gathered or seedy dens where only dangerous people went. And then I went, it was just glitz lol. I was mildly let down. Yeah, it's very shiny and sparkly and very like draw you in. Um, but going like visiting a casino, you're not going to see the casino. You'll see the gaming floor. You'll see the restaurants. You'll see the bars. You will never see the casino. All the shit you're talking about is up like a ton of levels. High rollers, lounges, all that kind of shit. And you can't get in there unless you put down X amount of money and buy that money. Like if you put half a million dollars down, to like if you purchase half a million dollars worth of chips, then you'll be escorted to the high rollers room kind of thing. Um, and some of them have restrictions that are even higher. Though A lot of them will have different levels of high rollers. So like you'll have like a hundred grand, quarter mil, half a mil, one mil, two mil, five mil, 10 mil, etc. depending on how much they pass through each day, uh, how, how much turnover they have every day. Some casinos won't see numbers that quite that big, uh, but some of them see bigger. Um, so you cannot get into that room unless you purchase $5 million worth of chips. Um, cause you don't get, you don't gamble in a casino with cash. Of course you use chips, you buy your chips, you do your play and you go and you cash your chips out. Um, but yeah, there's, uh, the stuff you're talking about, the, the, the bits that you are kind of afraid of, you, you personally can't see that. You won't. Unless you get employed. Specifically by the casino. I'm not saying get a job. Like I'm... If you're employed by the casino in very specific certain roles, and usually um, even the dealers that are in those rooms have to have like five, ten years um, working at the casino to earn their way up there, because what oh, the pay dealers get paid exceptionally well. <clears throat> the more games you know, the more you get paid, and you get paid exceptionally well. What's the amount number you need to get to keep up with a release amount? Um, so I need to get 42 since um, March, whatever it was. February, whatever it was, sorry. February 23rd? No. Yeah, February 23rd. Uh, so... But I need to get 42, because I released 41. So I need to get to 42. Um, mounts gotten. And... I was at 641. I need to get to 683. Six eighty-three is the goal. Um, uh, like it's a buffet. I go somewhere known for specific, and then like seafood, eat seafood. Yeah, for sure. Like, same kitchen I was training was really interesting. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, if you've been incorrect. The casino law sounds like a joke. Legit worried about it for ages, of course. Nah, uh, it's um. Look, a lot of people. Like, casinos are very, very good at convincing you to part with your money. That is the only reason that the building exists, is to get you to part with your money. Um, 
So if you are someone who feels that they are weak-willed, um, if you're going to go, leave your money at home. Like, literally take only enough to get you there and back kind of thing. Um, or if you're going to get some drinks or whatever, like, do not take your, your bank card or whatever. Uh, or take a bank card that only has access to a certain amount of dollars, uh, like a prepaid Visa card or something like that, um, because they are very good at making you spend. That's the whole design of the everything in the building is designed to get you inside, to keep you inside, to make you not realize how much time is passing, and to um, uh, get you to spend your money. But yeah, the, uh, the the seedy parts or the bits with the you know the famous people and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's all. That's all stuff that you and I will never have access to unless we unless we get the job going, kind of thing. Um, uh, or employed. I meant employed by the like get employed by the casino and work your way up to the high rollers room, but it definitely came out wrong. <laughs> Uh, the training was too far to travel. Uh, most, like, most casinos will offer, like, if you get the job, they will train you. You don't, like, once you get the job, you don't step out on the floor for months. Until you've gone through training. Uh, and they teach you, I think it's two to three games to start. And then as you've been there, as you hit certain, like, ten lengths of, of service, um, you get the opportunity to add more games. Uh, and... The more games you know, the more you get paid. Just the casino, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, the internal workings of the casino are super, super interesting. Back of house. Oh, it's the thing for the... Yep, yep. Cool. I know what that is. Uh, okay, so I'm going to tick off the Stygian Stone Crusher. Um, now, I need to do some... Uh, Archivist Codex farming is my next step. Because I need to get to T6 and I'm only on T4. Or no. So I need to get a few chests and mushrooms and, and bits and bobs to, um... My codex rep. So my case will definitely help. Flatmates when I flooded with was a deal, yeah. Yeah. It pays really well. It's uh physically kinda you wouldn't think it, but it's physically quite exhausting. Um but it's uh Very well paid job once you start learning new games. <clears throat> Nest. Mm. 
couple of blue, blue bits. I saw a pile of bones down here. Is it still there? Yes. Wonderful. Piles of bones around here that I can grab. Not seeming to have much luck. Unpleasant. Bellsfield, they go. Huh, interesting. Might be worth some things in a collector's. You never know, hey. How's everyone doing really well? Thank you, nurse. I hope you're doing the same. Congratulations on the find. Um, 
ones, of course. Okay, look, rares are nice because that means I get some relic fragments from them too. And I've got my little thingy reliquary site able to detect creatures who are holding relic fragments. So none of them are purple and it's making me kind of sad. <laughs> so I get to knock out, what is it, three purple mobs to get relic fragments off them. But if none of them are purple, I'll do it. So you're welcome. A relic gatherer too. Got out of. It's too far away. one. Two purple ones. I will take it. Come back here first. That is uh, I believe a relic goblin. Treasure goblin, relic goblin, what's it? Absolutely right. God, nothing does it. That person who ran past me had no idea what this was. <laughs> count as a relic gorger. Interesting. I can head down to the spectral bound Otty Otty as well. Some um, absolutely give me some. some mushrooms. Maybe get some tasty mushrooms too, that'd be nice. Good old door shadow shenanigans, indeed. Always and forever. Well, not forever, but you know. I'm gonna miss door of shadows so much when it disappears. Like, I think that might be like the big thing I'm gonna miss. Uh, we've got two mounts so far today already, Nab. How awesome is that? 
Um, but I'm trying to get as many bits and pieces for Archivist Codex rep as I can because that's, I need to purchase a mount once I'm at tier 6 with them. Uh, and I am not currently at tier 6 with them. Um, so that's what I'm working on. Oh, there's the key. Wait, it disappeared. Did I get it? It's still flagged on my map. Like, the dots are still on my map, but, um, it's disappeared. I bugger up. Oh no, now it's gone. It was just because I was still in combat. That's fine. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Two new mounts. How awesome is that? Got three last week, two the week before, and now two today as well. Like, this is... I am I am very happy with this. Okay. That's one of those, yeah. I don't really care about that one. Uh, which ones? Uh, the Kyrian one from the Wild World Cracker, the Forsworn, uh, Forsworn Aquilon, and Malbog's Mount, the Crimson Shard Hide. Very cool. The game timing spread it keeps changing on my launcher. That's yeah, that's quite odd. Gonna come back here too, no fair. <laughs> well, I am quite certain that there are clips. So do not fret. And sixteenth. That is interesting. That is interesting. I mean you could always open a ticket about it. Yeah, because that's that's something that's like doesn't really affect gameplay so much, but that's super odd. <clears throat> Not doing the Hellsworn chest. Vessels in the rift, and vessels necrolord, mobs, riftbound caches. Actually, I know where there will be another boss one cache. Do not interfere. <clears throat> Damn straight. Hmm. Uh, no, I don't believe I do. I'm I'm pretty sure I've got like most of the stuff towards it, but I don't actually have it yet. <clears throat> so I'm just having to get fantastic. Congratulations! Hey, Boot, how are you going? Welcome back. That's a color. Thank you. Definitely didn't do that on purpose. I genuinely didn't. <laughs> but I do quite like it as well. It works well. Oh, excuse me. I beg your pardon.
God's sake, same place. Am I supposed to jump over that part or something? I must be. Oh. Um. What's going on? Yep, correct. Now we're chasing now. Um, Archivist Codex, tier six. Another reputation one. Jump worked, and then I ran, and I didn't. <laughs> Very good at this, can you tell? Can't believe Dora Shabbos doesn't work anymore. There we go, that works. Right, so right under the gotcha. Okay. So got two more nests I can grab. Another challenge, correct. Correct. I keep forgetting to turn it off, but it doesn't really bother me that much. So, no biggie. when it goes away. Be sad. Really, really, really sad. line of sight my butt <laughs> okay, walk up cliffs but what if you just if you ever touches the walk button oh I do accidentally all the fucking time content Z was in there yep yep trickle like the rest of us no I refuse. The Necrolords march on the altar of domination. Join us. And lead the charge. No purple critters. Very surprising. Unusual.
think I might have tapped out on um, archivist stuff. Actually, do I have a repair key? I'm gonna go bank them again. I'm gonna buy one. And grab the rift stuff. Let's go turn all this stuff. Go turn all this stuff in and I'll buy a rift key and hop through the rift and do the chests. It's a main druid. Give it a try and if you don't like it back, nice and easy. Thing is, right, switching mains, the process of switching mains looks a hell of a lot like leveling and gearing an alt. No harm in gearing it up and then deciding you want to go back to your hunter. No harm at all. to tier 5 what remains of it okay, repaired rift key please just one 31000 stuff it's fine i can spend a little bit <clears throat> This must be a weekly. Lost Research must be a weekly for Archivist Rep. I really do wish, like, I know we have blue uh, exclamations for, like, daily quests. I wish there was another one for weeklies. Because it's just a yellow exclamation mark. It just looks like a regular one-off quest. Um, I, re I really wish it was a different, like, even some kind of special highlight or something to indicate that it's a weekly and that you can come back next week and do it again. I would really like that. I mean, we've got the, the shield to, like, represent campaign quests and stuff. Purple? Like, purple, yeah. Something like that would be really nice. Like, I really don't mind what kind of highlight or colour or what, like, I genuinely don't. I do not care, but um, yeah, it'd, it'd be nice if we had some kind of indication. <clears throat> okay.
<clears throat> so biggin. Oh wow, okay. Um, and then there's one up there. No, that is awesome. Well done. That's super good. and stretch look you in a rift there's a timer or in death night that's hilarious this could be a compliant in shadow who ill had <laughs> Yeah, look. That that may have been your first mistake.
of all the things I picked up before, that tiny little thing is what stun is what dismounts me. That's what I feel about that. Okay, where is it though? Fine, it's dead. Big repositories. Museum, DK's in which. It's a bit legit. Get one shot, yeah, for fair. Uh, I got so many hours of kids grad. So many weeks in a row, multiple number. And uh, I think it's either three or four. I can't remember, but I know. Like last week, I got three. Week before, I got two. I think the week before that was when I got the storm song rep, which means I bought two as well. So I think this is four weeks in a row of two plus mounts. I need to get to 683 before the next major mount containing patch is dropped. So I need to go all the way down to that bottom corner. The final rift, uh, rift cache. But I also need to get my um, repositories on the way. Add to Tom Tom just so I can see the general direction I need to be heading in. Work well. <clears throat> are all big chunkers. I can't kill the big chunkers. Oh, they're inside, weren't they? Extra oh. repositories, <laughs> it's a waste of time. Ugh, I'm trying to make Genesis a bit. Nope. Not at all. 
We did it once on stream and that's it. I have no doubt that at some point when I'm like, hey, let's do this and get a ton of mounts and pets that we'll be able to put two group together or three and uh, and just smash it. Smash it all out. No concerns at all. Wonderful, fantastic. Twenty and twenty-five, and I got three minutes. So, oh. <laughs> this is not going well. Okay, drop. Fantastic. Well done. The not dropping repositories. I'm not gonna make it. Thirty seconds. I still need four more. It's all right. Buy another key. Elbow just cracked. It's an odd one. Was completed when you have completed two. Yeah, I think I think depending on which work which which quests you complete, there's a chance it flags other equivalent things complete or like breadcrumbs and stuff complete so that they don't show up. I I feel like that's what it does. Like I because I've had the same thing happen. I so I I think I think that's what it's doing. But yeah, it's very interesting.
can't mount because I'm silenced. Oh, screw this. Can't even blink. Ugh. Frustration abounds. 20% tonight. Awesome. Look, it's only day one. It is a chill night and it is also Easter Monday. Keep that in mind. interested in house and makeup yeah it is it's also a public holiday which means a lot of people be out and about doing other stuff or they've come home from a long weekend and they're just exhausted and like yeah don't 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 feel too bad about it uh there is also of course the chance that people just aren't interested in that kind of content from me and that's all right if you are you should definitely check out my instagram Trust in the purpose. tier five tier five baby and knowledge must be preserved. Hmm. That's fun. Oh, wow. That's not bad at all. I need another rift cake. Oh. Memories are fleeting. The archive is eternal. I we have a soul responsibility. It's the Insta, hail you. I, I've learned that um selfies or photos that include photographs that include fear. Perform better than photographs that do not. So, uh, is that? <clears throat> Hopefully, more photographs in the future. Probably not this month. I finally sorted out like this month's Instagram. Um, but next month, uh, I'm trying to aim for higher portion of selfies. Mushroom. I should get that. Oh, there. Okay. I see. I see. I see you. down there, aren't you? Which is why these ones are dead. Oh no, I moved my I moved my bloody slow fall. God damn it. That's fine. Let's have a nom. Um, I'll be back in a minute.
Hello. Okay. Mushrooms really gone by now. That's okay. Ooh. Apparently, I can get one more nest. Boogie down. Oh, and it's still there. Fucker. I was kind of hoping it'd be gone so I don't have to do it. But maybe I can drop down to it from here. Or maybe I'm supposed to be able to reach it from there. Oh, it's available. all fallen. Sound it didn't work. Yeah, it did. I danced to the boogie. What are you talking about? Huh? Oh, maybe you've got... Oh, well. Maybe you've got some uh, lag going on. Like a, a buffer thing. God's sake. The sleep beads rest well, Shiva. See you next time. Path available, my butt. Anyway. Uh, Fade, Meaty, Landa, Dunno, Dupe, and Rello. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. Well done. This one. Yay! Has to be away. <gasps> yes. That's what I was supposed to be doing. I mean, that is part of the rep thing, so.
This is kind of funky. Like, I don't have a grapple thing. What are you talking about? But no, we're going to play it. I get it now. <laughs> Go to the island. We. How much, like, how far into tier 6 this whole little quest chain is going to put me? I'm just have a um, that's a good question. I'm not too sure. I think I've got it disabled. Because they went, we went for like three months without anyone using it. So I disabled it for a bit, and you're the first person to ask about it in like a long time. <laughs> Super funky. Wildlings back up. Dean, oh nice! Awesome source. Um, make sure you're checking the store as well because you can buy scrolls for gold, like extra scrolls. I'm sure you already have, but just in case you hadn't. Hey, Daz, how you going? Welcome back. Not much to show for it. Fair. Fair. Yeah, I, I personally tend to just buy out the whole store and just wait for it to refresh on its own. Um, but I'm I'm not aiming for like I'm just you know trying to get as many scrolls as I can for whatever purpose. Yeah. What to our bus? I wish I could just like do daily some little quests to get this rep. Okay. Not my favorite type of rep farming. You know, my two brothers and one team. Too many higher than the others. Um. 
Honestly, it, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, like, if you're always placing your lowest level, for example, like, that's, that's fine, because it'll just level up the lowest level ones first. Uh, if something gets too far ahead, then it's not going to get any more scrolls from placement. If you're placing the lowest level ones, it does a pretty decent job of evening itself out. Um, like once it got to the point, because it did have uh, that those quests used to be like instead of um, like one to one to whatever, five to whatever, ten to whatever, etc. It used to be like one to all the levels and then 30, and then 5 to all the levels and then 30. So I wanted to get through those as quickly as possible, so I started focusing on my highest level ones. And even then, like, they're not... Even then, my lowest level ones are still in, like, 26, 27, compared to 30 at the top. They want... Because it requires more and more and more exponentially scrolls, they will catch up super quickly. Um, they, they, will, they will just catch up. Uh, Shiro name seems a little cool. You can't pause an online game. No, but it does give me a chance. Like, I usually leave them... Like, the, the chair stream isn't an immediate... Like, it doesn't happen straight away. Um, it's more that Welcome. when I need to, I can go take a break. Another for the, another for the collection. There we go. Achievement! I do without your aid? And I'm still only at 9%. Okay, good. I need to go find that rift again. Get my last four repositories. Go turn those in. No fresh above lots of gold. It's in 1,000 gold, I can do 100, 2,000 up to 200, only by the lowest number. Fair enough. I do this with the codex wrap any other ways. Dailies for the Codex Wrap. What dailies are there? Like, there's a weekly, and the, the dailies up here, but I thought they were only Death's Advance rep. Um, the other way to get rep is to hand in your research. There are two There are two um, reputations in Kulthia, just in case you've maybe merged the two of them. Um, but yeah, you deposit the Corthia, the Corthian artifacts, whatever. Just have to turn in research. Yeah, that's not a daily. That's just a you go and dump your stuff whenever you can. <clears throat> but this little, like the list I'm working with here, that's a week aura that shows what I've, like, how much I can, I've got left to get potential artifact uh, research fragments from. One out of all three. Mm. Fine, fine. After I get these repositories, I might um, want to go, I might move on to the next thing.
So I thought that was correct. Done most of the elites. Most of the rest. Rares. Not really rares anymore, are they? Exit when you're in combat. Cheeky. Hey. So I'm on nine percent. A true scholar studies all. Seek out no so you get eight hundred rep go. plus the one thousand research. Trust in the purpose. Oh no, okay, plus the, the currency, not the actual stuff to turn in. So 800 rep, which would make 14, so it's 5% each week. If you just do that and don't have any research to hand in. Oh, that's rough. Uh, okay, I'm I'm done doing that. Um, <laughs> uh, which, what's the assault? Is Necrolord this week, isn't it? Yep, yeah, let's go and do Necrolord. Let's see if we can get a mount out of that. Plus, I can get some extra anima vessels, maybe researchy stuff. I'm not too sure what that actually means. And Torment as a Torghast, I believe, is shortly. The Necrolords march on the altar okay. of domination. Join us and this lead the charge. I'd like to hit three mounts tonight. That'd be really funny. Torment is a tor oh oh it's a pet okay so yeah um in five minutes the next tormentors round starts as well um so we'll absolutely do that and there's a pet that can drop from that one it's the grabber what's his name one hilarious isn't it my new the torment is going to pop up.
So where is this kill run thing that it's talking about? For the honor of the blade sword. From Ka. What Meet me in perdition hold when you are done. The Mothworn tremble at our might. Blood and thunder! Oh, there's one inside as well. Do you? Oh, I see it. Okay. So I have to throw the ball at the spirits and it makes them a body. Sure, let's do it. These assaults have some pretty interesting quests, let me just say. There's another. Oh no, these are for the quests. Anima mode. Okay. Yeah. I like the orb throwing one better than the take the soul to the person and defend him one. That one hurts. <laughs> maybe because I'm just maybe I'm just terrible, but it 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 hurts. I'm not good at it. Ah, uh, dear. Hey, Rusty. Thank you very much for the contribution. You will be purified. Chamber demolisher. Demolishers I can handle. The rampages. I have to kill them too. Oof. Okay, this is this is gonna be a time. sick. It's been the way for the last six years. 
Every time you've been here. <laughs> work. Yeah, I sincerely doubt that. <laughs> I think you just don't want to. So that bit's done. I'm just gonna keep killing the big ones. But I can solo these with the help of the NPC. <laughs> oh, that was a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Alright. Uh, I did not realise that was an AoE. Oh, well. Oh, I'm such a squishy. on some shock eggs uh no no but i did buy a box uh, a couple weeks back and i've been having like one every couple days sort of thing um but nothing over the weekend yet no That's a bad thing. Let's get out of that. Alright, I only need the one more big one. These big boys. And then the one just here as well, and then I'll be good. without having anyone to tank for me. I'm quite proud of this. I missed night third man drop. Not yet. Not yet. <clears throat> Whatever it is. Take three tries, yeah. <laughs> uh which one are you working on at the moment? Um the Covenant Assault, the Necrolord Covenant Assault one. I'm not actually sure what it's called, I'm sorry. 
Um, but that one. Uh, he was the dealer last year, wasn't it? Five tries. No, no, three tries. The spinach noodle was three tries. Wild World Cracker was three tries. And I'm pretty sure Conthrogs was also three tries way back when I got that one. Everyone got really angry at me. Um, so, yeah, it's, um... But the Stygian Stone Crusher, the Venthyr one in Corthia, I'm on 15 with no mount drop. So, <laughs> obviously it's my reward for actually playing my ults properly. <laughs> ah, I slept 12 hours today, we wake up. Big feet go back to bed. Deary me. Deary me. Alright, let us empower the battle ready Centurion. And assist it. I am kind of tempted to try to do these assaults on all my 60s as well, but I don't, like, I don't know how well my, um, the rogue, for example, would go. I think the other three would probably be fine in terms of survivability, but I don't think the rogue would have a very nice time. <laughs> mm -mm. Factions Rogue on Horde. Best luck. Best luck. Wait, what? Centurion disappeared. DK Horde 2. Uh, my DK is Horde, but it's not high enough level to do any of this stuff. It's not 60. Although, that being said, I have four Death Knights across both factions, so... <laughs> but, like, my main Death Knight, all my, like, my main of each class is, uh, is Horde. But I don't have a, uh, 60 DK. I have 50 characters. So four of every class with an extra mage and an extra druid. And they're all a variety of levels. 30 horde, 20 ally. Uh, minimum level is 50. And I've got five 60s. Currently. 65. Okay. It would take like a long time. Oh, and I've missed the... Pretty sure I've missed the Tormentors as well, I just realised. Unless I didn't actually spawn, because I'm just checking, there's no... There hasn't been a... server message about the Tormentor, so that's interesting. Uh, right. Dupe, Silver, Demon, Draz, and Zem. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shits. Um. Where do we go? Here, and it's attached, but it keeps tickling my arm. <sighs> well done, Draz. Okay. Um, so I need to collect... 
large ruse. It's a potion I meant to use, but... Not being silenced. Hey, all right. Um, hello, lovely lurkers. If you're looking for a way to get involved in the stream and feeling a bit shy, why not donate to our weekly community goal for a makeup and nail art stream? It is free, not a donation, as in like money. Uh, <laughs> free channel points, embers can be contributed by clicking the little fireplace below the chat box. And if we don't make it, get the embers back. Thanks to the rock stars who have helped us build the community spirit so far. Plus, while I'm at it, Fear is aiming to hit a thousand followers on Instagram. Following is a free way to support streamers. It makes a huge difference to them. Follow Fear on Instagram at the below link. Or you can also scroll down underneath the channel uh, and click the little Instagram link there and then hit follow. It's, it takes 10 to 15 seconds tops. And you haven't, like, it, it is ridiculous how helpful it actually is. It, it shouldn't be, it's like, it shouldn't be as good as it, like, it shouldn't be as helpful as it is, but. They, it, it, it is. Um, so. Please do consider throwing me a follow. I'm trying to create entertaining things on Instagram. Nice things to look at. I'm, of course, always open to feedback. Sika, what are what are the things that you like seeing most on Instagram? And what are the things you like seeing least? Just because you like seeing it the least does not mean you don't like it. I understand that. But like what is your favorite things and your least favorite things? Out of curiosity. <clears throat> the most love the humorous clips. Good. The reels, yep. Yeah. 
It is a lot of fun going through the clips of the last month and pulling out my favourite 30 or so. Make me laugh from when we're engaged, of course. Of course. Have some uh, awesome clips and that makeup and can shots like the nails. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, the mount makeup's a pretty easy one to do. I mean, it does take a little bit of work getting the photos, like sticking them together, and then getting the photo from Warcraft mounts and sticking it all together and stuff. But it's um, in terms of writing a caption, it's pretty straightforward and stuff. So it's um something that I've found works fairly well. And it's kind of cool to see like the evolution of how my makeup has kind of improved over the time. Media seems to be more active on Twitter. I'm just not following enough streamers on Insta. No, they are absolutely more active on Twitter. The problem is brands aren't. The vast majority, like, so many brands that I've entered, like, even step one, they don't have, like, they, they don't have a Twitter account. It had to be hashtag step one on Twitter. They wanted all the, part of my contract was to post on Instagram, specifically. So all, like, 80% of brand deals and things like that, so sponsorship cash that can help me pay my bills so that I can become a full-time streamer is on Instagram. That's why I'm trying to build Instagram particularly. Um... Not because I think it's fun, or I mean, I do, it's, it is it is fun, but like, it's predominantly because, like, that's, I need to survive. <laughs> More food pics, it's my personal preference. So like, close-ups of food, or like, food and fear, because I've definitely noticed that, um, photos with fear in them perform miles better than photos without fear in them. Like, fear's face, specifically. Food and fear. So, like, the- the when- when Jas and I went for dumplings, and that- that photo... I think- did I go- did I put that on? I think it's going- I think it's going up on Instagram soon, but it's not up yet, but I tweeted it. A person with amazingly food good- like that? Okay, good! Good! I actually- I have a couple of streamers that I follow, um, who I am... Let's be honest, I'm jealous of their Instagram feeds. I'm jealous of their content. Um, and I want to create content like theirs. And so I've taken some inspiration and that was one of the big things was food photos with the person in them. Um, so that's kind of one thing that I'm aiming for. Excited Jess with food was the bloody cutest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was, that was pretty awesome. It does mean I have to go out for food more often and that's fine. <laughs> I'm okay with this. Mm -hmm. And the food seems to do well too, yeah. People like seeing humans, funnily enough. This puzzle man's in Shadowlands. What do you mean? Like secrets? Or... Uh, okay, war chest. Ken has undying Dark Hound's harness. That was not the mount. Um, but it wasn't offhand, and it's a shared appearance anyway. God damn it. Ah, uh, no. Nah. And the torment has never happened. The torment has never happened. I am really, like, I'm tempted to, like, Santa Bermethra. But that's not... <laughs> mm. 
Who's the instrument in similar bedrooms? There's lights in the back. The nano leaf panels are fantastic. They're, they're super good to like add a little bit of pizzazz to your uh, to your room. They are expensive, but I I love that I can I've programmed them to react to things. So like if there's a sub or a follow or a cheer, um, like specifically the cheers. Depending on how much you cheer, the colors are different, and the colors are the same as the like the original bits emote, like the you know the the cheer emotes, like the little the the purple diamond and the gray and the blah blah blah, blah all that kind of stuff. Um, so the the I actually pulled the hex codes from the Twitch announcements that that was happening, and uh, and programmed those hex codes into the panels, so that if someone cheers with a an aqua amount of bits. The lights turn aqua. Like, do you know what I mean? It's it's super cool. Like, it's just really, really funky. Why it let us down, apathy? How could it do this? Ugh, I'm devastated. How could it be so cruel? You'll solve that. That's not what I want. I want um. What's that? What's one cash? I'm not sure if I should contribute embers or not. Usually happy to go along with those challenges. This one isn't my thing. Just contributing give a false impression of interest. We're doing it because others want it and not for myself. I probably drop in and chat a little bit, not really engage with that particular stream. Probably overthinking it, but I don't want to mislead you. No, I think I think that is an appropriate amount of concern. Like, you know, you you The thing that I really love is that you're invested enough in my content and the community that you don't want to skew my data. The fact that you are that invested in my information is fucking beautiful. And thank you, Meaty. Thank you so much for, for voicing the concern. Um, if you wanted to contribute for everyone else's sake, like for, for Seeker's sake, for example, then like letting me know, like you just have, that you know, that you're contributing, yeah, absolutely help you out, Seeker is not really my kind of thing. That's more than enough info for me. Like that's perfect. Um, I don't. I don't think you're overthinking it, um, but I can understand why you think you might be. But it's okay. Don't stress at all. Thank you for voicing your opinion. I really appreciate it. Yay. Reasonable position. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, it is. It is entirely one hundred percent your choice, and it's always one hundred percent entirely your choice whether or not you contribute. Obviously we have a handful of people who do campaign pretty hard, especially if it's something that they really, really want to see me do, which is fair enough. But if it's not your cup of tea, you do not have to contribute. You don't have to at all. If you want to help out but it's not your kind of thing and therefore you want my data to be accurate, then you can you absolutely tell me. I will not be offended. I will not be offended. Um, all of the goals this month are things that have been requested. Every all that we had five goals, we've got five goals this month, and every single one of them has been actually actively requested by a member of the the Fianati, the one of the subs, um, at least one of the subs. Uh, but that just because one person wants it doesn't mean everyone else does, and that's okay. That is totally okay. 25% completed. There you go. There you go. Uh, so I need to grapple up. Um. Uh, did five time walk, you got a belt and two belts for the world boss. Any other piece would have been an upgrade. Oh no. I'm so sorry to hear that. That sucks. Oh no. Um. Fell orc. Brilliant. I'm on the other side. I would drop every ember I have to make sure the makeup stream happens. There you go. There you go. Look, and this is the thing, right? Although we are a community that has been brought together by things that we have in common, that doesn't mean that we have everything in common. And that's okay. That's okay. Like, I, you know, we're talking about, um, uh, we're talking about the, where am I, where am I? Uh, talking about meeting up at PAX and stuff. Meetups are not everybody's thing. Some people absolutely prefer to just be a part of an internet community. And I'm okay with that. I will not be offended if people don't want to come. Like, that's okay. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, 
we are all individual humans with all of our own individual interests. Uh, and some of them overlap. Some of them don't. That's what's so beautiful about this community. So many different people from so many different, you know, places and, and walks of life and all that kind of stuff. And yet we're all here hanging out together. Fresh face to make up streams hopeless with makeup. I love to see hints and tips. Ooh. Uh, I was thinking about doing like if this was successful, I was thinking about making it a mount makeup thing. But I'm not I'm not super sure if that's what I want to do. Uh okay, so one you'd be seen and killed inside the rift phase how are you meant to get into the rift in more are you supposed to like enter the rift in Corthia and then like rip through the like how does that work or gloon Excuse me, yeah, cool, my brain works, no mention of it. It gives you information, of course, of course. And I ha you're absolutely right, I have. Not a problem at all. I, I appreciate the discussion and the, and the, again, the concern for my like data and stuff, I love that. It makes me so happy to know that there are some of you who are just as invested in this shit as I am. Like it, you know, makes me happy. Yeah, so you do have to get there. What? Um, okay. Right next to Screaming Shade, using Repair Rift Key, do not purchase the item, currently research two. Cypher for location, I was on CD, ugh, so I ran. Right across the false vault on my way. Interesting. So you, you have to enter a rift in Corthia and then book it. Yeah, she's been this day. Oh, apathy. Same boat, everyone. If you choose to TikTok stream, I'll throw mine in. Brilliant. With the jailer's weapon. Congrats, Jess. Well done. Well done. So I was initially starting to hit everyone campaign more. Maybe I did the same check in with Vera more than one occasion to see if it was okay, if it was skewed out. Yep. I would have thought if you have, I have two. Oh, we all do. Oh, honey. <laughs> we all do. Uh, I have a BOE green that when I equipped it didn't activate ATT, did not have the appearance before. I'd... I've had a couple things do that. Like it doesn't realize in ATT that you've actually learned it. And when you refresh it, it ticks it off, but it doesn't make the noise. It's a pain in the butt. Arrow is key ring located on the wall in an underground room next to Killerun. I thought I could maybe knock this over as like a hey, let's get another mount, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Mm. Okay. But I got another, another gold ring for Organa Mount. Russian fixed it. Yeah, I thought it might. Yeah, there are. Look, ATT is not perfect. Um, but that's okay. It's a big ass add on. So around the whole data thing, like, yeah, it does help. Like if I see how quickly a, uh, so, so things for me are how fast it gets done because people are doing it of their own accord because they go and check and then they see it and go, Ooh, that's something I want. 
rather than being asked to by like, you know, for example, seeker campaigning. Um, so the faster something's complete, like the gold making stream was done, like not even an hour into Friday or something. That's ridiculous. Whereas TikTok, um, A Tale for Two was completed like midway through Sunday's stream. So that tells me one is more popular than the other. The next step is when we actually do the stream, I check the data for the content, like the actual like creation of it. So if, you know, my, my average viewers are somewhere in the, you know, 90s or so, and then I do this stream and it's down in the 40s and 50s, then I know that that's probably not something that's super hella popular. Yeah, it's, um... There are, there are lots of different types of data that I can look at to determine whether or not I even want to make something a goal again. And if something does perform quite under, like, you know, 40 to 50 average viewers or something, um, then I can flag it as something that maybe if it's asked of me, I do it once every six months or so, but it's not something I offer as a goal every month. Um, whereas the ones that are popular, I, I do more often. I'd like to think I'm organized, but you know. <laughs> oh crap, I've got like seven bowls voucher, no three. Okay, I was exaggerating. But still, that's a lot. Dun. you with my wares. Remember, everything has value. Your patronage is always appreciated. You struck a hard bargain. Good show. Until our next... Alright. And <laughs> next. Oh, the animal one, the, the do the circle's gone. It must have expired. That's right. Uh, after I settle that, I'm going to bed. Rest well, meaty. We will see you next time. See you next time. Honor him by defeating enemies in this revered place. Oh, storm. Not wrong. Hey, Azam, how you doing? Complain about sleeping? No. Sometimes you gotta take what you can get, don't you? That's the way I feel often. All right, that was, uh, time. Oops. How many mana 
mass did you get today? Two. Nice. I oh, know, right? 657. We're getting there. We're gonna get to 683 before the next thing, the next big thing drops. Your legend ends here and now. Honoring the legacy of the Prime is a solemn duty. One owed by all who vow to defend Meldraxus. You have done well. Centuries from the House of Rituals keep this area under observation. They will find no secrets here. Destroy them. Minus is so angry. Hypocrisy, how you doing? Welcome on in. Speak in whispers. We're having a fantastic day. Yeah, just, you know, I'm stealthed in the... Oh, yeah, there you go. So my mirrors. So my mirrors are dead now. I do as my Baroness commands. What? What is going on? What did I do? In a long time, that's okay. Secrets for the eye. I do that made me unless someone was supposed to have a circle around them and didn't that exposed me that might have been it that turn of the head thing is fine it's just they don't something is going on It's like I could use roll on my monk and sprint on the rogue and all that was still fine and yet I didn't push a single button on fear. And it did done balked. Right, here you go. Watch something more entertaining while I walk my way to where I need to go. There's no same as the old one. Notice the old one was really worn out. No wonder it wasn't working properly. Yeah, look. They do do that, don't they? Tech does have a lifetime. Like, it, it expires. Na, 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 na. Uh, so I didn't actually notice prior to stream, but during stream I noticed that Data for Azeroth has updated their data for mounts, and I'm guessing everything. Um, so I'm gonna have to go through and adjust my list after stream tonight, and I, uh, 
after all the like it one of the most frustrating things is when things shift around and I've put all this effort into a particular mount and then it's not even on the list anymore because something else has become more for God's sake. What I hate about this world quest is that um, uh, the bit I hate about this world quest is that you have to go all the bloody way back to the start if you want to get re-hidden. Like you can't just press a button to go back into stealth. It's supremely annoying. I don't understand why that has to be a thing. It, it really doesn't need to be. Draz, Hello, Dunno, and Zem. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Uh, we are going to do another battle, but we're going to have to start it early. So just uh, make sure you place those units as soon as you can. You can follow the link in chat now. Log in with your Twitch account and drag and drop those units to the battlefield. We are going to have to start this one early, but... Excuse me. We should be fine anyway. Hopefully. Maybe. We'll see. So I got knocked out of stealth, even though I'd done everything properly. Yep. Super fun, happy times. Two. Oh my god, we're getting closer. Holy cow. 58. This is Instagram, by the way, for anyone who's dropped into Lurk fairly recently. Uh, I'm trying to hit a thousand followers on Instagram. Because uh, that's sort of the big first milestone when brands start to actually acknowledge that you might be able to give them what they're looking for. Um, so, yeah, if you want to help me out. It's a free and easy way to do it. 10 to 15 seconds to click the link under chat. Uh, under, sorry, click the link under the stream. And drop me a follow. God's sake, get off me. That's what I needed. My former house may come to regard us as allies. Until then, we do what we can to assist them. Up top. We're getting really, really close. My big, like... I know what's going to happen. It'll hit a thousand and then 998 and then a thousand and 999, a thousand and 997 and a thousand and like, it's just, it's going to take me like a month to speak, to become stable above 1k. It's okay. Or... I 
So he hits the mark and bam, yeah. Yeah. Although I posted that step one photo and like lost a whole bunch. So who knows? Who the hell knows what people want? I certainly don't. I know, but like, good lord. This is why I'm meeting with that marketing manager. Maybe she can give me some insight. We'll learn some things. Many people have broods look quite potentially. Quite potentially. I'm still getting those bloody spam messages asking me to be their sugar baby or whatever. I feel like I need to put together some kind of copy paste response that like says, you know, if you'd like to talk to me, you can do so over at twitch.tv forward slash Fiyama. If you want me to stream something specific, my rates are $700 an hour. Like, you know, I'm, that's obviously not my rate, but like, yeah. Just get them to totally bugger off. Because I do not doubt that it's probably all coming from like the same group of people. So if I actually respond and give them like, maybe they'll all just, maybe they'll stop and take me off the list. Uh, anything under is stupidly risky. Yeah, but it's not even like it was a G-string, you know, like it's, I was wearing bike shorts, let's be honest. Um, to be clear, step one underpants, they're, they're like the length of bike shorts. Um, and they're also high-waisted, so they cover, like, a lot of skin and flesh. Uh, but they are a hell of a lot thinner, and they feel more, like, underwear and all that kind of stuff. But it's it's still underpants. Um, but I basically posted a photo in a crop top and bike pants. Um, <laughs> I thought it was an awesome shot. I was really happy with it. And uh, I got a whole bunch of unfollows, like, directly after posting that. Kind of funny. A little bit entertaining. You should change it all. They won't stop. They will sell your details to their mate scams. I wouldn't give them any details. Like, I would I would send them the Twitch link. And my rates. And that's it. No, no, no phone number, no email address. Nothing. Just here's the dealio. Uh, totally agree. No, no, I know, I know, I know. Just, I'm kind of, I'm also adding some context for people who are like, what the fuck is she talking about? Um, yes. It's a great shot, you look happy and comfy, hugging a squishy mallard bum. Yes, exactly. God, I love, I love that plushie. It's just so good. So snuggly. Because, yeah, the big, the big thing with the contract was there was not allowed to be any branded anything that they would have to, like, if they were going to share it, would they have to purchase the rights to something is, is basically the deal, right? Um, and so that means Groot's out. It means Togepi's out. It means all of my WoW plushies are out. It means the Twitch pillow's out. Um, it means the Udi is out because it's an Udi and it's got Tweety all over it. Um, my, my partner blanket is out. The only one, the only thing on that bed that is not some kind of branded is Boba. It's a bubble tea. And I don't think anyone has the copyright to a bubble tea. So, <laughs> kind of hilarious, eh? Oh dear. No, 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 I know, I'm I'm aware it's not my problem. Like, I, I get that. I just thought it was really funny. And I'm, like, judging by who it was, like, because I know 
a number of the people who unfollowed me. Uh, I reckon it's probably, it's uh, probably uh, like the girlfriend, like saw them scrolling through Instagram and said, who the fuck is that? And made them unfollow me or block me or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Like I, I absolutely def, like it's got to be something along those lines, which is just like, honey. Like, yeah, but anyway. It's interesting. It's certainly interesting. Uh, any more mounts this mount base Monday? Uh, two. Just the two. Which, I mean, just is uh, an interesting way to say that. Uh, <laughs> um, I need to go back to Sinful. I'm handing in my calling from Maldraxxus now. Hopefully I'll get an oozing necroray egg. I've done four of them so far. Zero eggs. So hopefully five is the charm. Um, tormentors didn't spawn. I reckon I've probably got time to go bonk Harika the Horrid on the head. Or the noggin. Only two. I know, right? Like, only two sounds like a really silly thing to say. But, like, uh, today we got two. Last week we got three. Week before that we got two. Week before that we got two. Like, it's just, it's been pretty damn constant lately. Which is pretty freaking awesome. I have been watching you. Pretty freaking awesome. We watch... We wait, we strike. Nah. <laughs> nah. No egg. Let's go, let's go bonk, Harika. Where's the closest Bainwood? Oh, I still don't know where any of the mirrors are. I'm never going to know. It's fine. It's 1 p.m. Welcome to the land of the living, Scarlet. Hope you're doing well. Oh, I need the. Whoops. A lot easier now that we've got flying. The get these bolts has left these souls to rot please remedy this plight smash Jesus, no <laughs> not even close it's gonna take another couple weeks for that one I think <sighs> But that's okay. I'm alright with that. At least it's like consistent development towards one. Whereas with drops, it could drop today, it could drop three years from now. Whereas with like reputation grinds, as long as I keep it up with consistency, it will eventually happen. Um, at like a predetermined time sort of thing. That's okay. We're all good. At 50 attempts so far, this will be attempt number 51 on Harika. Actually, proof into existence, exactly! Whittle away at it, and then it'll just happen. Like magic. Nah. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, right, I did say that we were probably going to need to start the battle early, and we are going to do so now. I don't want to place a spell. I will place a spell because it's going to... It's going to be a thing. <laughs> Alright, here we go. What had Domino's Adrenia? So fantastic. Da, 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 
I just realized I didn't do the fell orc thing. I'm so sorry, Seeker. I'll give you your embers back. You can trigger it when you get here on Wednesday. My sincere apologies. No, I want pizza. I mean, pizza is amazing and wonderful, so. Ah, oh, well. <sighs> kind of figured that'd happen, but that's okay. Back to the map. Twitch. No, I know, Jas, but I'm just saying pizza is delicious. Like, I'm, al I'm allowed to claim that something's tasty without wanting to eat it right now. Like, good God. <laughs> good God. Um. Vestures. Oh, gosh. Excuse me again. Yeah, I think. I think we're gonna do good here. Uh, so we're gonna raid. I uh, bet you do want to eat it though. Honestly, not really. My tummy's a bit upset. I'm responsible for finances, food choices. Uh, we're doing the best we can. Doing the best we can. Uh, I reckon we're doing pretty well. I reckon we're doing pretty well. Um, we are going to raid a friend of mine. Her name is Lacey. She's lovely. She's playing Kirby. Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Um, so before we do that though, let me tell you a little bit about this month. Um, ne on Wednesday, it's Noble Garden. On Wednesday, we will also, by the time stream starts on Wednesday, we are going to know whatever there is to know about the new expansion. Do not discuss it now. I know there have been leaks. They count as spoilers. It's in the rules. Don't do it. You get banned. Literally. Yes. Um, but... The morning of the 20th for me, 2 a.m. on Wednesday the 20th is the time that the uh, expansion announcement is being made. It will no longer be a spoiler as of next stream. So it will be open season on discussions, whatever you want to talk about related to it, it's going to be a thing. So if you want to avoid spoilers from us, like if you want to hear it from the source, I would highly recommend watching that launch. Uh, watching the announcement. I keep calling it a launch. It's not a launch. Watching the announcement before you come to stream. But I definitely encourage you to come to stream because it's Noble Garden. We're going to be hunting eggs. We're going to be crossing off as many of the collectibles as possible. Hopefully crossing off the entire category. I want to finish Noble Garden. 2022 is the year of the event for me. I'm trying to complete all the events. Just get everything done so that anytime they add new stuff, all I have to do is get the new stuff and that's that. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Friday, we're going to be doing some comp stomp PvP, except it's PvE. My favourite kind of PvP, not actual PvP. So uh, I hope you'll join me for that. We will absolutely be joining as a group. It'll be great fun. Uh, Sunday is Transmog Hunts and the Loot Appraiser Challenges. Uh, we are going to be doing... BC Dungeons on the Shaman, I think was the... What was it going to... Yeah, I think it was BC Dungeons on the Shaman. So that's fun. Uh, and then back around to Mount Farm Monday. Hopefully we get some more next week. Um, I will also make special mention of the stream on the 27th, the, the Shah Farm stream, uh, the first one on the 27th. It's going to be a charity stream. I'm going to be raising funds for Pank One, uh, which is a, a group who are trying to fund uh, pancreatic cancer research. If you were to be diagnosed with pancreatic cancer today, your chances of being alive five years from today are 8%. There are mounts that have better drop rates than that. 8% survival in a, over a five year window. That's ridiculous. And like in this day and age with all the medical advancements we have, that's ridiculous. And so we're gonna raise some money to try to fix that. Uh, so I hope you'll join me for that. They are calling it storytelling day. The intent is for people to share their, their stories and experiences around cancer. It may be triggering for some people, just be aware of that. Um, but I'm not going to be pushing anybody to share. 
so that's um yeah that's pink one's theme for the day is is storytelling day uh but for me from from my perspective it's this is ridiculous let's get money um so yes that's the thing um good let's kick the raid off um not doing assault on your rogue after all oh no no not today no not today um Again, you're very welcome, nurse. Thank you for being here. Have you said you too, Sika? You too. Safe switches. Of course, you too, nurse. You too. Have a sandwich. Yum. Lovely Easter. Have a good night, you too, Chaos. I'm saying you too a lot, and he's saying like you also, and you, and also with you. Yep. Anyway, uh, ham and cheese sandwich is the bomb. Just saying. All right, here we go. Let's pop this in. Boo. Uh, Twitch raid, boop, grab your copy paste. If you don't have the Fiamma hype emote, either because you're not a subscriber or because you haven't unlocked it using your channel points, both of which are totally okay, you can still copy and paste the entire message into your chat box. Then where it says Fiamma hype, you can delete that and stick in your own favorite uh, happy hypey celebratory emote and drop it into Lacey's chat when we get there. Show her some love. She's truly a lovely human. Um, I, I'm looking forward to meeting her at PAX. Um, we've only ever, like, spoken online. She's part of, like, a, a small group of partner friends that I have, which are just, oh, it's so supportive and lovely. So, yes, make sure you show us some love. Uh, and I will see you on Wednesday, and we are going to talk about a new expansion. Take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I'll see you then. All the love. Mwah! Bye, guys.